Brush that. Da, 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 da. Got a yellow bar or a white bar on the bottom of that, but I couldn't. I wasn't gonna take the time to get rid of that. Uh, copy your. Welcome back. Oof. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me make my announcements. Change in plans. Colby. Hellboy. Life sucked. Was hot garbage. Um, eh, I'm not going to worry about the tweet. I'll leave the tweet out. I'm not going to worry about updating that. Let's swipe this over here. And we'll jump into the game right away. Um, because otherwise, you know, you guys already been here. Do, 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 do. Play. Alright. Forgive the nonsense, chat. I 100% apologize. I was like, what the hell? Don't tell me it's doing this again. All right, we'll want to pause that. Boom, in game. We want to continue. Wait, wait a minute, what? We don't want that, oh, that because we haven't got, we have other, we have other missions here, right? F1, oh, F1 to track jobs, okay. Jobs. Let's see what jobs we have available. Um, uh, a tragically good brew. Why? Would, did, oh, we must have selected one. I know. Because there's a thing that pops up here and it won't go away. And you can't exit without selecting one of the jobs. Which was kind of annoying. That kind of irritated me. Um, the community theater group is planning a daring music interruption of Faust. I don't know. Um, and request a brew pack uh, with German hops to accompany open opening night. Jeff's tips: If Rusty doesn't include German hops, try throwing them in any in any way to increase carbonation. Add more sugar, corn sugar before your final conditioning phase. So yeah, you have your bonuses here. So those who missed the first stream, you know, as you play, you have you have certain tasks that you're trying to achieve right here, and then you got your bonus awards too, uh, which in this case. Uh, um, mastery your car, uh, reputation in brewing world. Oh, that's just right. That's that. Doesn't really tell me what my bonus is. Oh, your reward. Okay, this is what this is what we get. Okay, I see. Oh, bonus equipment a requirement carbonation it is at least two. So we want two. Holy shit, that's, that is high. Um, well, they're wanting something with a ger with German hops. What recipes do we got? So this carbonation, 2.81. Holy shit. Um, and we'll throw some German hops into this. Because, let's see, the hops. Roth. I'm assuming one of these is probably already German anyways. But Pin that. A vice beer. We're doing the vice beer. Dunkel's vice beer. <clears throat> Had to deal with modding. Welcome back. Had to deal with modding. Um, did you? What? Who? Who was acting up? Did you have to put somebody in timeout? Did you put him in the naughty corner? I like not according to people. All right, added 21 uh, liters of water in a brew container. Oh, 
we'll pull that out too, because we're going to need it anyways. Pull that out. So this is another X extract. No, why? Oh, you know what? We'll slap this over here. Slap this right there. There we go. Move the lid. And E. It's a very slow fill. We need 21 liters, so that's where you use this. I feel like I was it was me, but I also know it wasn't me. What are we talking about here? Good morning, Shogun. Welcome in, Shogun. Welcome in, Darth, as well. All right, so what we're going to do, because it keeps filling. I turned... Oh, no. What? Oh, I hit T again. Damn it. Now we got too much. I do that every time. I hit the wrong key. I get so excited. Um, how do you pour? Pour E. Too much. I mean, not that it a hundred percent matters. Yeah. Fucking so close. <laughs> so close. Start that up. <clears throat> I can hear him. Uh, thank you. Just uh, waking up, getting ready to uh, work here. Are you, if you're not seeing the stream, the the video, you gotta have to yeah hit refresh. Hit F5 if you're on a PC or just refresh. Oh, I have, to, I have to buy stuff, don't I? Um, how did we buy stuff again? Need to buy some extract ingredients. Wheat malt extract, there it is. F added to cart. Um... How do you check? Do you, does it automatically check you out? I don't think it did. I think you have to pay for it yet. Yeah. Where was the cart at? Where is the cart? Oh, up here. Add to cart. Wheat malt extract added to cart. There we go. Buy. There we go. I think we should buy everything we need, but, you know, we're going to do it one at a time because that's how we roll. Where's the... I bought it! I bought it! Where's it at? Y'all saw me buy it, right? Yeah, because the check mark indicates that we own it. They won't let me add it anymore, right? So where the oh, you know what it is? It gets delivered to the door. Store all. I forgot it gets delivered. Amanda Nicole, welcome back. Welcome back. Freaking one of the true, one of the, what are you, you're, I can't, I wonder if I can hover over if it tells. I think, yeah, you're um, a true, ooh, ooh, ooh aren't you? <laughs> I did. Here, I'll show, I'll, I'll, so I changed my alerts and as annoying as ooh, ooh is, I'm boiling water off here. Hold on. Um, As annoying as the alerts are, or as Ubu is to me, I, I, I added this. 
<laughs> to trigger you all when somebody joins the Ubu Nation. <laughs> Stupid Ubu. <laughs> Oh my god, stop with the noise. It's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Ubu Nation War Cry. Ubu! Oh god. I I okay, I'll admit I made that myself. I used some software I had to modulate my voice and double it up and high pitch it and freaking do this and that and just make it as annoying as possible to keep people from doing it. <laughs> Because the Uwu Nation is hot garbage. Hot garbage. <laughs> um, add malt extract, add steeping grains uh, to brew, contain Vienna Crystal steepable. Um, oh, these are hops. Uh, we need The grains are in here, aren't they? Are they in here? Yes. One fifty, I think it said, right? And then we also, we want the malt extract. How much of that do we need? We need 2.5 of the malt extract. Uh, so I guess we have to dump in 2.5 because it doesn't, it comes in three. Nope. E. We want to leave 0. 0.5. It's spilling out the side. We want to fi 500 grams. We want to leave, right? Uh, close enough. We added, we added a little extra. Place in. Uh, what else? So we did uh, this. We did this. We did this. Heat work until 100. We'll catch up on chat a little bit whoa, whoa, before we do that. If I was a new person, I'd be so confused at this channel. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I mean, we literally jumped in a game and it was, it was complete garbage. It was such crap. So we switched it up. I was so irritated. Cowboy life, not for me. Excuse me, I'm just finishing up my donut too. Like I said, it's Friday, so donut day. Um, here, here, I'll show you. Uh, no, I won't, I won't, I won't pull that up. We'll do that. We'll exit with that. Um, I don't get what's up with Ubu. Well, the conversation came up somehow that I hate Ubu and I hate the, the bashful right there, you know, up there, what William put, the fingertips pointing, you know, it means like, oh, you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't even know what it means. Does it mean you're bash? I don't know. What does it mean? And, uh, so naturally, chat, my wonderful chat decided to just start spamming uwu in, in the, the tip toucher, um, emoji things because they're a bunch of you know, they're, they're my chat. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, have you know, seen anime stuff? Yeah, so that's the story behind it. Is I, I mentioned how I hate it. And chat naturally uh, fell in love with it. And then, and then Ski came rolling in because Fisk asked me what what my community was called or i mean we all share a community right but what my sect of community is called and he wanted to call you the victims but that doesn't work i mean it does because you all act like victims <laughs> and you know they act like me you're all victims of you know whoever whatever um and uh i said no that, that if if that couldn't be ever be if I do come up with merch, it, you know, that's the last thing that you want on a t-shirt, right? I'm a victim. 
would I would just be horrible. You know that that's taking a serious our thing in the world, and uh, you're you're making light of it. So that that, that just does, that that wouldn't work. That does not work at all. So we we agreed that that didn't work. So then Ski comes rolling and saying, "Ooh, woo nation," because Ski's an a hole. Uh, Life my I went to the video and saw the stream starting soon screen, and was so confused till I saw the new live video. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh, you know, I should do the retweet thing. Hold on. Yeah, because that new... Uh, uh, here, let me t let me slow this down. That's not what I want. T. Okay, that's going that's going slow. Let me let me let me put a new tweet out because it does. It takes you to that one video, doesn't it? Um, the 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 tweet. Let me switch that. Let me delete that and actually switch it out. Um. Can you hear the game still? No, you can only hear me talking. Let me play some music while we do that. Look at that, so we can keep an eye on the temperature. While I tab out, well, I tab out and make a tweet. Uh, to the Twitters, and I'll delete that first tweet. Delete. Yes, deleted. Okay. Home. Compose. New game plan. We are brewing this morning, which I feel like I need a beer, but I don't want, I can't, you know, it's too early for a beer. Live! Coming at you live, and then I need a link to the damn stream. Son of a bitch. That means I gotta open this. Go to the YouTubes. You might hear you guys, you might hear me it twice. We'll see. Real quickly, you heard me go, Psh, and oh, I heard my voice. It's disgusting. I don't know how anybody can. Uh, copy URL. Boom. And a uh, boom. There we go. Tweeted. Twittered out. Damn, ain't new notifications. I'm a popular dude. How does it feel to be speaking to such a famous person, chat? <laughs> um... Get this, let's get this. Let's get this boiling. Heat work. Uh, remove steepable grains. Uh, let's see our next steps here, real quick. Um, so, if we were to we'll back back up, but uh, add hops. So we actually should grab the hops that we need to remove steepable grains. Uh, we're gonna need uh, for bittering hops. Boil for 50 minutes. Are bitter? Are the Roth select? Okay, so we're gonna have to buy those, and then our, our aroma hops are is is Margid is Margalt. I, I, shut up, chat. Saying it wrong, I get it. Um, so we yeah, we're gonna have to buy those hops too. So we're gonna have to buy some hops real quick. Okay. Oh, uh, we we added those. All right, we're heat boiling right now. Let's 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 just go to the store. Um. Oh no! Yeah, no. You remove that. Shit! I already forgot what the names of them were. Roth select and Ismargad. Ismargat. Yes, I nailed it. Uh, catalog. Uh, ingredients. That's the steepable grains. Oh, hops are over here. I'm blind. Um, uh, 
bittering hops. Cluster? We're not using actual bittering hops? What's going on? What are the broth ones? There's that. We wanted that, that. There they are, Roth Select. Bye. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, if you crack a beer at 7 a.m., I feel like you be belong in the meeting that uh, starts uh, with an A and ends with a B. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I've drank. I've done morning streams with, with the guys and drank. I mean, if you do it every day, you know, that's another story. But, you know, that's, you know. Morning all. Morning, Rob. Hope all's well. John Virgo, welcome in. Uh, for taco, anytime, any, anytime is a beer time. It is. You know, a beer does sound good. I'm not... Cause I've, I've, let's be honest. I've been awake for three and a half, four hours already. So, it's it's like if, if you woke up at 9 a.m., it's noon. It's noon for you already, right? So, I've, I've already been awake um, for a while. But... It's coffee. It's coffee time for me. So, I, you know, I won't be drinking beer today. Normally, if, when you do homebrew, you are supposed to. It's 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 a law to be having a beer with it. <laughs> uh, just don't take any uh, offered Kool-Aid from Taco. Why? What, what, what do I do to the Kool-Aid? What am I? Is my, am I Jim Jones? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Um, drink the Ulu Ubu Kool-Aid. <laughs> yes, the Ubu, the, it's the Kool-Aid. That's what you're trying to think. That's what you're trying to say there, I think. Drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe I said the ATM. Uh, I'm just listening to Taco because I'm driving. Yes. Yeah, don't watch the screen. I appreciate you having me on. But, but you're typing in chat. Stop it, John. Put the phone down. Put the phone down and just drive. Gosh dang it, John. What's up with you people driving and, and chatting? Drive me nuts. Uh, I don't know a Canadian co could brew beer. Stop it, douchebag. <laughs> if you are just listening, that's their name. Douchebag Steve. So don't, don't tell. <laughs> Taco Jones is what we call him. <laughs> That's not what you call me. Stop it. Nobody calls me that. Oh, yes. The Forbidden Kool-Aid. Uh, uh, Canadian beer is greater than American pea water. Well, you know, if, it depends on what you're drinking from. American Swill. There is American Swill. Like, uh... Budweiser and all that. It's not my cup of tea, right? I drink craft beer. There's so many craft breweries now that, you know, there's so much good beer out there. It's, it's you know, why even bother drinking the craft stuff? Problem is, beer is getting expensive. Like everything. Prices is going way up. American micro brews are pretty much PY. What? What? Amanda? What? No. Heck no. That's where all the experimentation comes from. You know, like some of these smoothie beers and stuff. Holy shit, these dessert beers. Insanely good. Insanely good. They, they're dangerously good because you don't taste any alcohol in them. Um, we're going to grab our hops out. Shit, how many did we need? Um... 10 grams of the Roth and 35 of the Ismar. Did it say 35? I think I said 35. My, my memory is such garbage. Uh, how do we store? Was it F? Yes, okay. Where are we at? rising slow but i'm reading chat we're just kind of we're kind of boiling it slow we're not cranking the speed up because I'm, I'm reading chat I'm keeping up with you you buttheads <laughs> professional alcoholics don't need to excuse to don't need excuse to drink all right let's not jump into alcoholism 
Oh my god, don't give uh ooers any ideas. <laughs> ooh ooers any ideas. Yes. Ooh, ooh god. Fuck. I I hated myself when I made that alert. I hated myself. But it was necessary. Cause the turret ooh woo is such crap. <laughs> it needed a, cr a crappy sound. It needed a, a crappy ass sound. I really should move that chicken. He's dancing on top of my controls there. He's dancing on the rotate. I wonder why, oh, maybe just so you can look at it. I don't know, I wonder why you, it allows you to rotate like this. Cause I mean, it serves no purpose in game that I know of, at least not yet. Um, Olaf, get the hammer out. Yes, Olaf, ban all of chat. Uh, I'm only chatting while driving if it's traffic. Wait, what? I'm only chatting while driving if there's traffic, which is, I mean, you shouldn't be chatting while driving anyways. But while there's traffic, it's even worse. Good morning, Taco. Popping on before I leave for work. Oh, good. Thanks for stop stopping in. Um, much appreciated, Art. Art by Beck RB. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in, though. Appreciate it. Have a good day at work if, you're not, if, you, if you don't say anything else. Much appreciated. Uh, sound. What sound, Taco? Oh, you want to hear it? You want to hear the alert? All right. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Why is that? Why did that do that? Test widget. Test widget. That alert. That alert. <laughs> that one. <laughs> so the next person that subs will will get that. We'll, we'll, we'll be slapped in the face with that. We all will be. <laughs> so if you're driving, I apologize for scaring the shit out of you. <laughs> Uh, the way Fisky Poo says Uwu is absolutely fine. I should actually. I could have him actually do that for me. I could replace that sound alert to him saying it. Every time the Uwu war cry plays, an angel gets their wings. No. No. Every time the Uwu war cry, it, somebody's dropping a deuce. Getting out of the bed now and we'll join in a memo. All good, Mullet. Thanks for. Yeah, yeah, you take your time. Whatever. We're all good. We're all good here. Chat's, chat's behaving. We're at 70C. I'm just boiling slow, keeping up with chat so I can actually interact. Uh, last, uh, I didn't, I like, I ignored chat a lot the first time I played this, so I'm, I'm gonna be try try to stay a little more interactive. So I apologize if I if I miss if, if I miss comments. I don't mean to. Um, just sound like Fooster getting really scared. <laughs> He's gonna hate it. He doesn't know about it yet. He's gonna absolutely hate it which is gonna make me love it <laughs> taco saying ooh cracks me up always oh god i can't stand saying ooh the ooh nation Ugh. what's up onan welcome in onan's going to work or going to school here soon watch uh two one thirty minutes ad for what watch two uh one minute thirty ads for you thank you onan <laughs> yes don't skip those ads no if you if you want to skip that skip the ads they're there. Actually, I think one of them's unskippable, but the other one is skippable. Um, so, but uh, yes, much appreciated. I do have ads enabled because um, it's monetized now. So, so yeah, you better watch those damn ads. Pay me, <laughs> the carnage. Welcome in. Honest talk. Honestly, Taco, I thought that was Fisky Poo. You thought that was Fisk that did that? Ooh, ooh? No, that was me that made that. Actually, that audio clip. Um, I just uh, used a. Uh, I have a modulator too. I, it's mine is more digital. They have a physical thing. They have their Go XLRs that they do it. It still works digitally, but the, the Go XLRs are so much better. I'm using the Logitech software that works with my microphone, so I, I can do a lot of different things with it. Um, they just, you know, you got to tweak a lot of it to make it sound good. I feel like my we need to play that sound every member that has already subscribed. You know, just to be feel left, so we don't feel left out. <laughs> No, that's not going to be a thing. That won't be a thing. Absolutely not. Stop it. <laughs> I need to create a sound for uh, the super chats too. 
So right now, I did change it, um, and I added for the super chat, so you guys get to see Doris, right? But it's just that sound. It's a generic sound that's available uh, through uh, OBS. Um, so yeah, but you get to see Doris as a baby, you know, little little Doris, little Doris dancing. So yeah, yeah that, that's from one of my shorts. If you look at the in my video shorts, you can see when I have her. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I have her dance in one of them. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's get this get to the next step because we'll, we'll steep for another 50 minutes after this. So um, oh maybe that's why you rotate so you can actually access these a little bit easier. So you, if you're trying to pick one up specific because some some brews are more complicated. You you'll like you'll add maybe like. While you're steeping now, you might add some bittering hops now as well. You know, just some early boil bittering hops to try to get to convert those uh, alpha acids into the. Um, I can't remember the freaking name of it. What 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 happens to the um, alpha acids? It's, it's like they it, it crystallize somehow, but then the, what it does is it breaks down in the water. I can't remember what it's called though. Um, I'll have to look that up. I have my brewing book right next to me here too, but. That means I have to pick it up and open it, and uh, that's just a lot of work. <laughs> it's uh, it's called uh, uh, How to Brew. Uh, J John Palmer's How to Brew is such a good book. It's thicker than shit. It's like a dictionary, but it has some recipes in there. So good though, so good. Uh, let's get up there. Let's get up there. We'll get the steeping grains in, or the bittering hops in. Oh, look at it boil. It takes so forever to boil, though. If you don't have a good burner, like this is a single flame burner. The BTUs on this is probably garbage. I have a, a what is it? A cyclone unit. Oh my god, that, things get up to boil so quick. All right, so let's pull these out. Throw these away. Uh, we don't want those ones. We want these ones. We'll slap those in. We don't want to put that in there yet. So now we are boiling. Remove steepable grains. Uh, and we're going to add hops. Uh, oh, so we added uh, the... Wait a minute. Remove... Yeah, so now we added those. Now we're boiling for 50 minutes. So we got to keep track of this. What time is it right now? 1,500. All right. So that's an easy one. So 1,550 will... We'll make that change. And we'll speed it up a little bit. And we'll, we'll catch up on chat. Um, hola, oh, mullet's back. Welcome back, mullet. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry if I missed anything. If I tab out, then the audio goes. So, um, I wonder what setting I have. Options. Display. Full screen. Oh, wait a minute. That's That might be why. Full screen. There we go. No, audio still disappears. Okay. Eh, it is what it is. I'd rather run full screen anyways. <clears throat> and it realizes it, had, it was on windowed full screen. Victoria, you back too? I, I see a wave in Victoria. Yes. Ryan Heishkaboot. <laughs> yes. The beer purity wall. Leave it to leave it leave it to Victoria to come in and just yell out the beer purity law. <laughs> Ryan Heischgebut. Um, we have a local uh, no there's none near me. I wish there was. It's called Gordon Beersh. It's a, actually it's a chain of restaurants. Uh, Gordon Beersh Company, but they they're master brewer. I can't remember his name. Um, he he studied over in Germany, and um, he follows the beer purity law as well. And everything made by um, Gordon Beersch Company is uh, follows Reinhardt We should probably add some water, shouldn't we? Is there a better way to add water? I want like. Yeah, it won't let me grab that because I only have one of those. Oh, I wonder if I can use the hose.
Oh, it's not hooked up anymore. Where's the hose? Oh, it's, oh, that's to feed in. Okay, hold on. Turn that off. Where'd the hose go? Detach. No, we want to leave that. Let me see if I... Yeah, that doesn't work. Detach hose. Let's try it like this. Connect tube. There we go. Look at that! Look at that, chat! We're doing a thing! We're adding water to the boil, so the temperature's dropping. We'll get back up to 21. We'll get a little over 21. Although, I don't think putting a rubber tube like that is the best idea. <laughs> I don't think that's the safest bet. Uh, <laughs> you nailed it this time. Uh, one more hour of meetings. Hopefully I can make it back in time. Oh, good. Oh, Victoria, you do your work. You do work. Do your own thing. I nailed it. What I mail? Nail. All right. Hi, Shikabu. I know how to say right. All right. Hi, All right. Hi, Shikabu. I, I've, I've known... That the beer purity law for, for years. I've known about that for years. And, uh, you know, a lot of beer research over the over, over time. Joseph Clark, welcome back. Hey there, Taco Mods and Chat. Welcome back. Joseph, here, I'll show you your beer. That, that booster thinks I'm going to get canceled. Um, right there. It's, it's your black stout. Can we look at it a little bit better? Is there a better way of looking at it? No, there isn't really. Stow item, place item. Actually, you can see it better like that, but yeah, I put the rooster on there. That's for you. How's your day going? Things are going good, Mario. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, uh, Beck. Oh, also Beck. Welcome in. Sorry if I'm missing you, Carnage. If I, if I missed your name or whatever, I apologize. You know, I, you know, I get caught up in things. You, you need to forgive my my nonsense. <clears throat> things are going good here, though. Got my, Had my donut. Um, started one game. It wasn't fun. It was... It was, there was... It just wasn't for me. So I deleted it, and we started this back up. Which I wanted to do this. I was going to... Actually, my plans were to play this after work. Um, randomly throughout the weeks. Um, that way it'd be afternoon and I could have beer and brew beer and, you know, just have a grand old time with you guys. But, uh, it's morning, so there's no beer in hand right now. Plus I have to, after, after stream, I have to work out and then I have to go mow lawn. So, I mean, I'll have a beer when I mow the lawn. I don't care about that, but... <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have a beer and then work out because then the workout is very difficult. And I'm sweating way more, and yeah, it's just not. No. Um, what are we? Oh, we are only ten minutes into this. So we're gonna order about fifteen fifty. There we go. We'll do five times. That's a good speed right there. It seems like. What game was it anyway? Uh, it was uh, um, Cowboy Life Simulator, the prologue. I mean, th there's, yeah, I tried adjusting the gamma and it, it just is nasty. And then I tried fixing it and then it wouldn't fix. And then it screwed up my windows. And then uh, the horse got jammed up. And then I got to a point where I had to open up a book and it wouldn't let me open it. And I'm like, all right, I give up. I shot the horse. I named the horse Chat, and I and I, I shot Chat <laughs> right in the head. So I'm like, all right, we're starting a new stream. So I did a new thumbnail real quick, and uh, well, thank God I already had a thumbnail made for this, a second one, almost finished. So I threw I just threw the Brewmasters thing on there, and here we are now. We're playing Brewmasters again, you know, on a different time than I was planning on, but it's okay. That's okay. 
Yeah, some of those simulators are iffy. Yeah. Well, Fist told, Fist told me that he liked it and I should play it and it'd be fun. It was fun. <clears throat> he lied to me. I think he was trolling me. Because normally I would, I, I'll play a game, not very much of it, but because I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for me. But I will, I'll play a game just to make sure it's something that I'd want to stream at least. Um, I mean, I'm an idiot not to, right? So I should have done that with this one too. And then I, I would have deleted it right away if, uh, you know, instead, instead I, I looked like a fool or, I mean, I look like a fool anyways all the time, right? But, um, I, I looked like more of a fool. <laughs> uh... This is our by Beck. I just changed it. Um, do art YouTube anymore, so easier uh, at private. Oh, okay, okay, Beck. So you even changed your uh, profile pic, then, huh? Right? Did you change your profile pic too? One sec. One sec. Yeah, you changed your profile pic too. You no longer look like Jesus on it. Now you look more uh, uh, Campbell Kingdom, Kingdom, a, a streamer on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I caught uh, all hair off when I found out my wife had, was pregnant. Well, congratulations! I don't know if you just did it recently, but or you know, you, you, you probably your child's probably like 28 now or something. That's old ass pick. <laughs> So you cut your hair off when you found out your wife was pregnant. What'd you say? I need a ch if this is a big change. Time to just take it all off. How'd that? How? So what was the mentality behind that? It was Monday. Oh shit! Well, congratulations on the upcoming baby. Is this your first baby? Dramatic reaction. I know that's why. That's why I was asking. What was the uh, what was the mindset behind it? I mean, it's nothing. Nothing wrong. I mean, people do what they do, and I, I'm no. I'm you know. Not thinking down on it or anything. It's, it is just a that is a big change. I mean, he had some long hair there, and you know when you go from I mean it takes a long time to get hair that long, right? So a lot a lot of time vested, and then you know kudos to you for making that big change, that big jump. Yes, everybody, congratulate Beck on the upcoming child. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's get this. Where are we at? We had, uh, what do we have next after this? Let me make sure. So we got we got the aromatic hops, which will be here. And we got to cool the wort. We're going to try just speeding up and up time super fast and see how the wort cools. I don't like leaving it open all day. That's something you never really do unless you're doing a wild ale. And then add yeast, which we're going to need. Uh, by uh, Bavarian uh, white ale, so we'll have to buy that as well. All right. So I'll we'll leave that uh, right now. Let's see where at. What I already forgot. I already forgot what what freaking yeast we need. Bavarian white. Okay. Welcome to my world, chat. I read something and I forget it instantly. Wet lettuce, welcome. Oh, are you already wet? Did I welcome you already? I did because I liked your name. Wet lettuce. It's a funny name. Um. One catalog. Da, 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 da. Ingredients. The yeast. So they have one lager yeast. Only one available, huh? Here we go, white ale. And then it suggested that we add extra corn sugar so it ferments better, but that's always sketchy to me because if you, I mean, we're at bottle conditioning, we're it using a conditioning keg or canister, so it's a lot stronger than a bottle, like especially with a cork or even a cap on it. So that, you know, you have a threaded top. 
but um, if you you can easily over carbonate in a bottle and the, then you'll have uh, gushers either either have gushers so that's when you open the bottle up at the top and then the carbonation releases so fast that it just starts spilling out or you have bottle bombs which is even worse where um, just sitting there on the shelf, it gets so, builds up so much pressure that the bottle actually explodes, which is scary as all hell. Dangerous as hell, too, right? I just wanted to change. I had a long hair for three years. So, uh, it's our first child. Well, yes, that's congr congratulations. It's always scary, the first child. Um, and honestly, any child can be kind of scary because it's like, all right, now then you go through the mental checklist of, uh, all right, so we're going to have to make, you know, we're going to be doing this, 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 you know, cut backs on this, start saving money for that and that. This and that, right? So it's always scary, but you'll get through it, Beck, I'm sure. <clears throat> happy for you. Happy for you. It's going to be sweet. And I want you to name your child, boy or girl, Taco. Okay? Taco. Deal? Deal, Beck? Otherwise, you're banned. Simple as that. Tell the wife. Child's name's Taco. <laughs> Middle name Sauce. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to add shortly here. A saucy taco. A, you know, like I, I, oh. I want tacos now. I'm I'm not gonna lie, they sound so good right now. Me any Mexican food right now sounds really good. Ooh, ooh taco Jones sauce. Oh god. Shogun! Ban him! Ban him! Ooh! ooh. Ugh. You guys are all Ugh. Ugh. Tuh. I spit on you! <laughs> I'll I'll try naming my first boy Taco. Yes, do it, John. Do it. I mean, there are some tacos out there. There's a, a Michigan football player. I think it was a linebacker. No, what was he? Safety? Taco Charleston. His, yeah, his first name was Taco. And then we're going to have to add these next. There we go. We can slap them in now. Not gonna hurt anything. Look at how dirty that gets. That gets dirty so quick. I think we're gonna need to add more water. Where are we at? Yeah, let's add more water now while the boil's running. Did that attach? I think it did. Wait a minute, did it attach? There we go. Sweet. Boil has to get up though, has to get back up there. I wish you could turn the temperature up. I, hopefully, I wonder if, hold on, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Quick chat. Um, catalog. So there's no mash tons available yet. Some bigger fermenters. Hopefully we can get some like this right here is consider is a uh, um. What is it called? Conical? No, I can't remember what the fuck that's called. This type of, of fermenter. Um, but this base, is, yeah, conical, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then you can, like, all your tube will settle at this and you can clean it out and your beer stays up here. It's so nice. Hopefully we can get those. Uh, 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 uh. So they don't even show everything available yet.
Either that or I have to... I don't know, maybe I'm still playing the beta. I don't think so. Because I don't see any of the partnership stuff in here yet. And there should be. It should be on here. So I'm wondering if I'm playing the beta still. Hold on, let me check. They gave me a key, but when it downloaded, it read as beta, but then when it opened up, it didn't open up as beta. So I'm like, oh, that's so we're good. Um, properties. Doesn't say, it says and we're not playing beta, but. Store page. Let me take a look real quick. But it doesn't say I own the game. I wonder if they gave me a key to the beta. But it's in the beta's in full release, and then they actually released the game too. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to email the devs to find out what's what's going on because I don't see any of the partnership stuff, which you'd think would be here right off the bat. Um, poor ch ooh Taco Jones. I'll try naming my first boy Taco. Uh, poor child. No, not poor child. Great child. There's a football player named Sauce Sauce <laughs> Gardner. What? It's, no, there isn't. Sauce Gardner. I know there's a Devin Gardner, but um, he was also a U of M player. He's a U of M quarterback, or was. Uh, there's a football player. Uh, let's see the. This is what I get for streaming so early. This is what you get for streaming so early. Will not be held accountable for a lack of tact. Remember when Taco said "uwu" would never be a thing, and here we are with the "uwu" totally being a thing. No, it's not. "Uwu" is not a thing. <laughs> My nephew heard Taco say ooh woo for the first time. He laughed so hard. Here, <laughs> ooh woo nation. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, God. 100% legitimate businessman. Hi from New Zealand. Stoked to finally catch a live stream. Stoked to have you here, 100% legitimate businessman. <laughs> That's a unique name. <laughs> That's a unique name. Um, how long were we supposed to steep these for? Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so we got another uh, five, little over five minutes left on this. Okay. Uh, I wish I could stay, but I uh, got to go to work, y'all. Have a great day. Bex, thank, thanks for stopping in. Once again, congr congratulations on the news of your upcoming child. Have a safe day. Uh, have a good day at work. Uh... Da, da, da. I grabbed my me a beer. Now feel human. Yes, Olaf. I want one. Dump it in my mouth. Crack it open and dump it in my mouth, Olaf. Beer be setting up my youngest breakfast. All good, Mala. Do you do you? Um. Hey, Olaf, the scariest, sneakiest Bigfoot. Stop it! I'm the scariest. <laughs> nah, I literally was roaring. I was having fun just roaring, running around. Um, like I said, I tried recording it, but it didn't record my audio. I wasn't completely set up properly. Even though I had my mic hooked up and it was reading that it was recording, it didn't record my audio. Um, so I ended up deleting that recording because I was actually going to post a video as well with the three when I on the last one I did with them. Then you guys would understand what or would have understood more what I was doing, the, the my process that I was doing things. But um, either way, either way, I was having fun with it. It's always fun. Uh, uh, pours beer in Taco's mouth. Thank you very much, Olaf. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll just slide. We'll just slide. I mean, it's only it's, we have five minutes. Not even five minutes left on this boil. Um, and then cool work. Transfer to fermentation. See how we doing out? Okay, so by the time we hit that, we'll be good. We're at twenty-one point one nine liters. So we'll pick this up. We'll slap this over here. Actually, we want to put this right here. Put this. Oh, we don't need this yet. But we will remove that lid. I just threw garbage in the can without a bag. I hate when that happens. I hate when I do that shit. Especially if it's all, you know, like... Garbage, you know, like, uh... A can of, like, sauce or something. Because then it gets all... Then you gotta take the... Or either wipe it out, or like we have an inner, uh, like a plastic liner that sits in there, that the bag slides in, then wraps around the outside, then that drops into the can, uh, garbage can, the the extra out, outer shell. 
So at least I can, you can always take that out and wash it out with a hose or whatever, so it's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I hate when that happens. I regret I did not record. Uh, oh, good. Olaf, you, always, you, learn, you learn, right, as you go. Olaf is Bigfoot. You are Sasquatch. Yes, I am Sasquatch. What the fuck? Here I wrote an, an entire uh, 200 characters and only my sad face got posted. Well, <laughs> welcome back, Amanda Bjorklund. Yeah, I, I, I can't even say your name. I can't even say your name without Bjork, Bjorklund. <laughs> I don't know why I, I give it this. I tone down to a, like this Bjork, Bjorklund. <laughs> oh shit! Welcome back. Anyway, look at. So I'm glad you're here because Amanda Nicole jumped in and said, "Is she here? Is she here?" I'm like, "Who is who here?" She's like, "The other Amanda." And when I say the other, the one that I spit on, I spit on her. Tuh! Amanda Bjorklund, Tuh! that's what I say about her. That's what Amanda Nicole said. I, I swear, I no lie. Just, you know, you check the VOD. And I defended you, Bjorklund. I said, D don't be mean. You're, you're both Amandas to me. You're, you're both amazing. She's like, no, I'm the only amazing one. Tuh! I swear, it happened. It happened, I swear. Fight, now fight. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> I've been sitting here since uh, Beck's pregnancy announcement. Oh, oh shit. So... You caught me in my lie. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. I swear. <laughs> never, Taco never lies. That's right. Never lies, Taco. So they call me <laughs> all off the Louisiana Bigfoot Taco, the Canadian. I'm not Canadian. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda's have telepathy between. Oh, you're like twins. You're like twins. Is that how that works? <laughs> So, so she felt she her face got wet when you went like Amanda Bjorkman. Her face got wet, even though she's halfway across the world. <laughs> oh gosh, I heard it myself right before my, the pregnancy announcement. Right, <laughs> that's right, right before, right before the pregnancy announcement. Thank you, Mullet. Thank you. <laughs> it's an unspoken law that Amanda's don't fight. Troublemaker Taco. No. Who? Me? Never. <laughs> ah, it's too much fun. <laughs> no, it's... it. You know, Fisk it comments. He said, man, your chat is nothing but filth. And... <laughs> And I know about Phil, but nothing but uh, they're just like you, Taco. I'm like, yeah, and I love it. <laughs> they deal it out and they take it just as well. Um, we're almost there. 1600. That's it. Power down. All right, we're going to speed up time this time. Instead of switching a day ahead. Wirt does not cool down this slow. I'm telling you right now. Hopefully they have a work chiller available. You know, I'm going to have, like I said, after stream, I'm going to email the devs and find out um, if the code they gave me was a finished beta. Because like I said, I don't have any of the... Um, beer more stuff the untapped stuff on here um none of that you think it'd be available or at least it'd be some stuff in, so i think they may have gave, given given uh creators the wrong code uh never yes taco is always a troublemaker no i'm not uh still waiting for my ten dollar refund <laughs> wait hold on hold on there, that one was for you, Amanda Nicole. <laughs> that was for yours. That was for your membership. Okay. <laughs> Excuse you, premium filth. Thank you. What? <laughs> it's really started to feel like a cult. It, you know, it, it kind of is. 
in some ways. That's where, like, I, I, I the children of uh, Taco it was was kind. Of, I, I enjoy. I liked that. Um, but still, then you guys would have been calling me daddy, and I ugh, ugh. and that's why the membership, the top tier membership, is a hundred bones because <laughs> I do not want. I don't want you to be calling me daddy. <laughs> so it's Ubu Daddy is the top tier one, the very top tier one. <laughs> and I made it so expensive because <laughs> if somebody's willing to drop that kind of cash, I'll let them call me daddy <laughs> once. <laughs> All right, let's see how this turns out. Let's see. Um, and look at that. Look at that water level. We're freaking almost right at that perfect amount. We're going to end up with less. We should have had a little bit more because you're going to lose some with uh, with the troob. Um, yeah, we'll lose some uh, with the yeast cake and the troob. And uh, just in transfer alone, you lose some. So. Um, but normally, like what I do... Uh, I don't have a wort chiller. I've started making one, but then I never finished it. Um, a wort, wort chiller is... Um, damn, that is so slow. Um, a wort chiller is like a, a copper coil. And it has two uh, hose attachments hooked up to it. So like inlet hooked up to it. And then the water, like you hook your hose or your sink, cold water on your sink. And you run it through it. And it, the water will flow through that coil, and then you, you run a hose out of it, and you just you spill back into your sink or into the yard, and then at, and you put that in your boil right before you finish, your, your, right before you kill your boil, you run it in there so it sterilizes it and sterilizes any contaminants on it. But then once you kill your heat, you turn your water on, and that will cool your freaking wort down super fast, super fast, because you don't want, um. Once your boil, once it's done boiling, once it gets down to about 100 F, 100 Fahrenheit or so, um, you you throw the lid back on because you're not you're not going to be stain or keeping much in there when it comes to tannins and stuff. But that also prevents any bacteria or whatever and any contaminants getting into the wort because it's the worst thing you want to do is leave a op exposed fermentation or things that will other things will ferment better than yeast. And uh, those are things you do not want in your beer. Like wild yeasts are, can be very contaminating. I wonder if you could spill. If I like overdid this, if I'd spill it. See how much I lost? I lost a little bit just in that transfer alone. Put the lid back on that. Oh no, yeah. We want, we, want, we want to add the yeast, right? Let's have the lid on that for right now. We've, did, do we buy the yeast? Do we have the yeast? Um, did that. Remove hops. We cooled the wort. Transfer fermentation. Add yeast. Uh, Bavarian. Yeah, we bought the Bavarian white, didn't we? How much did we need? 150. So these are 150 bags. Now, I did get a message in my message, Taco, I think it was, talking about yeast. They, ser they shared a yeast. Um, wait, it's not here. It's in the fridge. I'm an idiot. Um, wait, I bought it, right? Oh, maybe did I pick it up at the door? I didn't pick it up at the door. Um, and I know there's um, powdered yeast like this. Yeah, I mean, you can get brewers these this way too from White Labs and uh, B3 and stuff. But generally what you do before you pitch this yeast, the day before actually, before you even make your brew, the day before you brew, you'd brew a small, a super small batch, maybe like a one gallon batch um, of the exact beer you're going to be doing. Without you don't you don't do the hops you don't do the steeping grains. So, I mean some people will throw a little hops in there, but usually don't. You just do the you do the wort, you boil it, um, and then you chill it, and then you pitch that you pitch your uh, packet of uh, of dry yeast in there, and you put a piece of tin foil over the top 
um, so the CO2 will bubble out. But what that is called is a yeast starter. So then when you do this, instead of pitching your packet of yeast, which we got to grab, which is in here. I don't know why I keep it going to that. It is dry yeast, so why would I? Um, oh, unless this is, I mean, these might be smack packs where you can smack them and you break open this little canister inside and it's, it's a liquid. But, um, oops, I grabbed too many. Oh, well, uh, we'll put the other one back. Um, but instead of pitching like this, you have a yeast starter where the the yeast is already activated. It's already ready to go. It's, uh, it's, it's propagating. Uh, so it's splitting and generating and it's already starting to attenuate. So it's, 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 it's like, it's like, you know, it's like going to a party, but you're tired, but you have to get that little wake up. You have to get that second boost. And it's basically what you're doing. You're waking that yeast up and it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, oh, good to go and ready to, you know, make the babies and make the <laughs> split. And, um, and that gets your fermentation going better and faster. Uh, let's open this back up and then we'll pour this. This is 150 here. Yeah, we put the other one back. Oops. So that comes out like a liquid. So I'm guessing these are considered smack packs. But still, I, I, I wouldn't use these straight. I'd do a yeast starter, personally. Well, that's me. That's me. You know, you, when, when, you're, when you spend this much time, because a, a brew like this, does take a while to get the boil and you sit there and you, you're spending an hour especially if you do a full mash I mean, we're skipping the very first step when it comes to making beer um and but when you spend that much time into a beer you don't you you want to make sure this thing attenuates you want you want this thing to firm it properly so you're gonna do a yeast starter the day before um if you don't you're you're, you're just risking the, the the yeast being like okay there's just too much space in here we're gonna go to sleep and then they just, they, they don't do anything. They're not, they're not ready for the party, right? If, if you kind of look at it that way, you know, you want them to, you want them to be ready to go. You want to pump them full of their, you know, just, you know they're, they're ready. I can, uh, I can call you, uh, only call you father. I already have a daddy laugh out loud. <laughs> I don't care. I call my dad, daddy. Have since, uh, uh since I could talk. Have you? Okay. <laughs> that just seems, I don't know. The word daddy creeps me out i don't know why um it's just uh, maybe because you just heard it you know you hear it in in other you know unnecessary places i guess um it's like poppy oh poppy <laughs> if I, I don't mind poppy because i've been hearing that poppy taco is what booster's been calling me for years uh pick up let's clean this put this away um added the yeast ferment for 15 days let's pick this up bugs me you don't clean this ever the, the tube just goes back in with all that wort in there it's crazy and tubes you only use you only a handful of times a couple times and then you gotta throw it out because there's micro pores in that in that in that plastic and then it, that'll pick up a lot of a lot of crap that you don't want oh man if only i had the money for ooh daddy i would uh do that I, i'm sure you would but no I do that in a heartbeat, and if nothing else, I just make taco uncomfortable. Yeah, that I appreciate it. That's why I have it up so high. But you know, I, I you know, anybody, any sub, any nothing. You guys just being here is more than enough. You don't have to. You don't have to join. I don't expect that. I'm gonna read your messages all the same. I'm, um, I appreciate everybody being here, 100%. Uh, going to a party. What's that? <laughs> right. Um, and that's how babies are made according to taco. That is, yes, because yeast, that one cell organism, they make babies together somehow. No, they, they're, they're, yeah, they're single cell organism, so they do split. Uh, but, uh, um, like I said, they're already going. So, yeah, you do your yeast starter in a smaller batch. It's there, it, and a lot of times people do a little bit easier batch from, so they'll, they'll actually make it so it's, there's, uh, less fermentable sugars in there um so it's not so overwhelming i guess i don't know because you're pitching you're pitching a small amount and that will add a little flavor too but uh um you don't want too much you don't want to get over oh you know you don't you don't like only do a half a boil of it you do uh you boil almost full to break down those or uh to get things uh so they're ready to attenuate or to break down better you know i guess i, I don't know i'm talking out of my ass now 
Um, oh, I know how it can be used. Uh, but I refuse to let uh, them re uh, ruin my pop's title. All good. All good. All good. I, I, I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate that. Really, really no message and it. It's gone again. Re. Wait, what? Oh, did how how big of messages are you typing? How are you, are you typing a paragraph? What's going on? <laughs> Sadly, I have to leave to go do IRL things. Ugh. Imagine IRL things. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you for stopping in, Bjorkland. Um, I'll make sure Amanda Nicole doesn't talk too much more crap, and I'll take screenshots and send them your way if she does. Okay, I promise. I got your back, Bjorkland. I got your back. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in, though. Have a good day. Stay safe. Might have to do it in um, parts, Amanda. Yeah, probably. That's strange if you're hitting that 200 mark. But, uh, yeah, that's a lot of typing. That's a lot of typing. Look at Amanda Nicole isn't even saying goodbye to Bjorklin because she just, she's like, finally. She, right in her, right, she's dancing right now. She has her own party going on. She's like, yes. She's gone. She's gone. She's all gone. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of a song, but I can't. Um, and dawn finally breaks. Yawn. And chat will take audio files in short of tacos. Lies. What? <laughs> I'm driving. Oh, then why are you typing in chat? Get off your phone. <laughs> Get off your phone. All right, so we need to jump 15 days. Let's jump ahead 15 days. Fermented. I would love to see this thing bubble. You know, if when we jumped ahead three days during the first stream of this, I would love to see this thing. You know, the little air bubbles, boop, or the CO2 bubbles that would be pop, pop, popping out here. Boop, 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 boop. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. And if it got too, like, the ability to let it get too hot. So if I were to set this over here by the heater, that'd be a bad thing to do, right? Because the yeast would be happy as could be because it'd be nice and warm. And they'd be really ready to party. They'd be they'd be making all, all, all the yeast babies. <laughs> but so much so that, that, that this... this that it'd be blowing off, you know. Oh, I forgot to ask my cousin. I was gonna do that. I was gonna ask my cousin if I could pull get that video from him, or if I can use that video. It's on Facebook. Um, if he, uh, and that way I can share it with you guys. Um, so that'd be pretty sweet. And you see, because he's he's literally recording this video showing his older brother, or no, his younger brother, um, uh, what what it looks like during the fermentation process. And I think he had a carboy. Did he have a bucket? I can't remember if he was using a. a like eight gallon bucket or if he's using a, I think he's using a carboy, um, which is a glass bottle and it has like a little, comes to a, uh, this funny top. Um, but you, you do the same thing either way. And yeah, this thing was like, he's like, Oh, look at it, It's really fermenting. And it's just bubbling, bubbling next to you. It just blows the top off and shoots all up. Never noticed that we can see the stars. How cool is that? I want to see the moon. Where's the moon? All right, we need to transfer. We grabbed two of them. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, we need our hose back. Uh, yeah, we need our hose back. Oh, wait, wait. Did we connect it in the top? I think... No! No! Don't want to open. Woo! We almost lost our... Where's our tube? Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> that was a close one. We almost lost all of our work. Uh, I'm driving too, but Chad, stop it, John. You guys, if you're driving, please, 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 please put your phone down. Please put your phone down. Even if you have to yell at me, just ignore me. And then yell at me when you get to wherever you got to go, please. I said bye to her telepathically, stupid. <laughs> 
You called her stupid? Wow. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. <laughs> Call me stupid. I can't believe, I can hear. I can hear you. Stupid. <laughs> I'm awake now. Trolling activated. Stop it, Shogun. Um. No, 100%, please. If you're driving, do not chat. Please do not chat. Just ignore my nonsense. I'm going to torment you, but just just, just ignore it until you get to where you got to go and then yell at me because I do not want you to get in an accident. I do not want you to get hurt or anybody else to get hurt because you're, you're yelling at me because I'm being a jerk. Okay? Please. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, a warning. Thank you. Yes, mullet. Absolutely. So if you are driving, uh, I get I give full authority to the mods to time them out for because all we have our ten minute timeouts available on on, um, on the YouTube's. So uh, you you will be timed out for ten minutes if you say you're driving and you type in chat. Even if you're almost where you gotta be, you're gonna be you're gonna be muted for ten minutes. So thank you, Mullet. Well, that's a good idea. That's a good idea for your safety. I appreciate you guys wanting to chat, but I want you to be safe. Number well, it cares about chat. We all, I, yeah, we all care about chat. I, you know, as much as I torment you guys and I say, uh, oh, I hate the Uwu Nation. Um, it's, it's, you know, that's all for show and for funs, funsies. I do care about you all. You don't want anybody getting in accidents. Uh, green grasshopper. Uh, nice skylights. Yes. I wish. Oh God, I, w I'd love a room like this. This is so cool. Um, trying to figure out how to insulate the place though, because you, you need an air gap. Right. Well, I guess it depends on what hemisphere you're into, or like what what part of the world you're in. Because, like like here in the uh, northern part of the United States, um, if you don't have an air gap between your ceiling and then the roof, uh, you get well, it, it causes a lot of problems. Um, you get ice buildup on your roof because snow will melt because it's exposed to heat. And then also uh, you get mildew and stuff. You, you can get a lot of like uh, mold mold growth on the inside. Um, so what you do is you have air vents on on, on your eaves. You know, it's, your roof sticks out a little bit and then you have air vents and that goes up and then you have an air gap that runs up. And then you have a ridge vent sometimes and then you have vents on that your gable ends of your house, so like where this window would be, you'd have it'd be a vent. So this is all exposed attic space, exposed to the outside. So the out, like your root up above your attic is as cold as it is outside, and that prevents ice from building up on your roof. Is one of the big concerns. Look at me teaching architecture. Look how slow this thing drains. We're just talking though. Um. Then I better not say where I am right now. God dang it, Victoria! Please, please, please. I I can I can time you out. I can still time you out. You better not be driving seriously, Victoria. I know the other mods can't time you out, but I will time you out if you are driving. I, you know, that's a good idea, Mullet, because I don't want anybody to be injured at all. I only chat when driving if I am at a red light. Laugh aloud, but I'm at work now. Even still, um. I mean, it's not, I don't know. I don't know. You can still get a ticket, at least here in Michigan. If, you, if you're if you even at a red light, you, you pick up your phone um, and start typing, you can get a ticket because uh, you're behind a, 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 a vehicle, you know, with the, the ignition on. So, you know, I just, you know, I don't want you to get a ticket either. So I appreciate it. But yes, please, please. Yeah, uh, Taco streams uh, a lot. If you can't abuse him now, you can always abuse him later. <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at Shogun. Uh, I can't mute Victoria. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's one thing. Joseph Clark, uh, don't taco and drive. Don't taco and drive. Yes, I like that. There you go. Uh, people in New York always have. Uh, I had skylights, and I never understood it because uh, they always cause problems uh, the far north. Wait a minute, what? P people in New York always had skylights and I never understood it because they always caused problems for that far north. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they're not the best thing. Um, like I said, ice will build up on these if, unless you have really nice ones. 
uh, like uh, triple pane ones are ideal for skylights because then you have um, two layers of gas uh, or or just uh, or, um, what is it, anaerobic environment um, separating so you know they you don't have as much buildup but yeah you around the seams though around the sills it uh, yeah you still get a lot of heat loss so then you get ice a lot of ice buildup. So it's not ideal for northern northern climate by any means. Uh, <clears throat> we have had frost the last two mornings. Yes, uh, we did too. Actually, my wife ran outside because we had a frost warning. Uh, or she got it on her phone. So she ran outside and covered up all the plants. And she's like, oh, we're all set for Halloween now. Because they're all, you know, she used a bunch of sheets, old sheets that we had. So it looks like we have a bunch of ghosts around the house. <laughs> um... Oh, and if uh, you're still scrapping to uh, to sleep from your eyes, uh, please uh, wait. If you're scraping the sleep from your eyes. Please hit the like button because Taco needs the likes, so he's not mean to chat. Uh, well, I'll be mean to chat whether I get the likes or not. But yes, it is much appreciated if you would uh, smash that like button because it does help me out. It, you know, it just it tells me if you like the game or not too. You know, if you like the game, if you don't like it, then don't hit the like button. You know, it, I do base things off of that. But I'm more based it off of chat because I do, that's the nice thing about being a live stream. I can interact with chat and I can tell if chat doesn't like a game, right? You know, they're they're gonna leave. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna. Or, I mean, we don't really talk about other things other than the game. But is that it? I think we got it all. Let's double check. Yeah, we got it all. Um, pop this out. Put the lid on that. Oh. Yeah, we pitched our yeast, yep. Uh, pick that up. E. Slap those away. And ferment at 20. See, it tells you a temperature to keep it at. That's that's what I'm like, there's gotta be more to it. Um, Because it will climb on its own. Like it was like I was saying before, the, the temperature when a fermenting beer will climb on its own and it will get well above 20 C. Um, and you don't want it to, you want yeast to maintain a, a temp at specific temperatures. Uh, usually the yeast packets will tell you what their best, um, temperatures are. And you want to try to maintain those temperatures. So you put little, like they have a little sticky thermometers that you can stick on the side here, but ideally the plunger style. So you'd have like a little dip tube and then you have a, a, a thing that goes in for your a thermometer. So you always have a, a constant read of what the temperature is. But you wrap it like you wrap it with cold towels or wet towels. Uh, and then they, you know, that'll help keep it cool or ice baths. But you want to try to maintain a certain temperature, you know, like I said, because yeast love heat. They make heat and they love heat and they will they will party harder with that heat. But you know what happens when you party too hard? you get sick and they put off kind of disgusting flavors. They put, you know, uh, like some, in some beers you do actually want them to get warmer because they'll put on like, put off like a banana ester flavor and stuff for like Belgian styles. That's what you, you, you kind of want that. You, you, so you want that, but you don't want to get overboard with those even. And then even like the, um, uh, oh, we don't, do we have, do we have any here? We don't have any here. Let me show you right here. Da, da, da. Catalog. Ingredients, yeast, the lager yeast. The temperature, working temperature is a lot lower, right? Optimum temperature is 7 to 20. But that doesn't mean they don't work at the higher temperatures like an ale yeast. These ale yeasts put off the best flavors here. The lager yeast put off the best flavors here. And they actually can withstand temperatures, nice lower temperatures, and it works still. But they still prefer, they will prefer higher temperatures and they will work like crazy but it puts off a lot of off flavors that you don't want in a lager so you know that's you know that's that, that's one thing you you know if you brew brew in real life you learn pretty quick you want to maintain temperature control uh all times uh nick cutches smith welcome in first time catching a live love the streams when next video the booster and fisk i'm not sure i'm not sure we tried recording something a couple weeks ago i got kidnapped during one of my live streams by him and uh, then that, that that recording didn't turn out. But I've always told them, and I'll always stick to it, because this is fun for me. I do it for funsies. I, you know, it is monetized now, but it's not my my livelihood. I have a full-time job that I love doing. 
and I'm never planning on leaving it. Um, and I do this on the side. So if they ever need my help for anything, I will, you know, put off a stream and I'll go help them. So, you know, it, but right now they're kind of, they have their, they have other things going, other series going. We do have some series in the plan in in the plans future, in the future coming up. <laughs> I don't know how I've planned ahead. Um, why don't we just leave this here? Rotate like that. Cause we're going to have to transfer that. Right. Um, Oh no, we don't have to transfer this. We got we're gonna have to taste it, but we gotta change the date. Do we have a calendar in here? So in the near future, probably. Yeah, we'll leave that right there. So now we need to let it ferment for 15 days at 20 degrees. Uh 15 days. Here's the calendar. Whoop! Um, ba -ba -ba, hold on, let's catch up uh, real quick. I see a Nick. Hi, Nick. Did I not say hi? Did I say hi to Nick? Who's Nick? Uh, only come for the abuse. Welcome in, Lucas. Uh, oh, Nick. Uh, okay, you're the first thing. Okay, uh, that's that's Nick. Okay, Nick. Nick Hutchins Smith. I remember Smith part, so I apologize. I forgot your name already. <laughs> It, you'll learn quickly. I'm not good with names. I'm not good with a lot of things. I forget shit all the damn time. I'll be like, I'll start something, and then I'll, I'll be like, oh, I'm before I go go into that, let me tell you this, and then I completely forget what the something was that I started in the first place. So 100%, I apologize already in advance. If you're new to the stream, um, welcome. <laughs> but but please don't be upset. Uh, let's see. So we fermented. We're good there. Uh, wait a minute. What did we do? We never added our sugar, did we? I skipped a step. I jumped ahead. I got caught up in chat and I forgot to add the sugar in the fermenter before we transferred. And we jumped another 15 days. Or what we, what we did was... I really, I screwed up chat. I don't know if this, yeah, this won't do anything. This, all this yeast is asleep now. We screwed up. We got to start this beer over. <laughs> I never added the, the sugar for carbonation to put it in here. Uh, cause we, we want it. We want to add the sugar, the corn sugar. So it'd carbonate and we just did. Yeah, we, we screwed up. I got caught up in chat and I just completely forgot what I was doing. That's okay. We can we can make a beer pretty quick. Instead of just sitting here watching it ferment, we'll we'll make it pretty quick. I yeah I I, I can't believe you did this chat. Uh, we need to set this down. Remove the lid. Cannot pour from this container. What? Well, you can't. Oh my god, okay. So you have to have a tube attached. You can't pour it out, apparently. Oops, I grabbed two of them. That's okay. Alright, we're draining it. It's draining away. That's okay. It is what it is. Welcome to Taco Streams. This is what we do. We break shit. <laughs> Can I buy a bigger pot? Let's see if we can buy a bigger pot. Um, F1 catalog. I completely, I got caught up into telling about yeast and all that. And I completely screwed up the, the fermentation and carbonation process. And I love it. Keep up the great work. Well, walk, well thank you. Welcome in toxic takeover. Um, I have 65 tokens. Should we buy a bigger pot? Yeah, we're buying it. We bought it. We got a medium-sized pot now. Now we can actually... What we're going to do, we're going to start our boil. We're going to boil at a higher volume. Um, and that way, as it boils off, we're not losing the temperature as well. Wait, where's our... Oh, wait, yeah, they come They come in the mail. I forget. We're, we're ordering from more beer here. And apparently more beer freaking delivers super fast. Oh, we got two of them. Let's go. We're all. There we go. 
you wonder what tunes are you do have tunes in the game i just don't know if they're dmca free so i i have the music turned down in game i'm assuming they are but i'm not gonna take that chance uh so if you're if you're interested in the tunes they are they're fisk beats my boy fisk fisk and fooster you know uh but he has his fist beats fist, uh, link trees down below um yes look at this oh we don't want them both i want to put one back Hold. Wait. Is that still draining? I need the sink. I need the sink. All right, we're speeding up time. T. God dang it. Um. Put you away. Oh, we're just cleaning the sink. We're not actually clean. Do we clean? Storing a container will automatically clean it. It's contents. Okay. Perfect. All right. We'll do that then. Slap that. Wait. Well, this not. Oh, shit. This won't fit. So we're going to have to do this. And then we got to use a tube. There we go. Now we're filling up. Now we're working with water, chat. Now we're working with water. <clears throat> Always blaming chat. It is chat's fault. This is chat's fault. I do nothing wrong. When I play and not li and I'm not live, I am a god at games. I beat them and delete them. Fisk or F everybody, every, you know, Fisk, Booster, Olaf, they know my catchphrase: beat it and delete it. And I will beat a game and delete it. Flawless play when I don't have to deal with chat. It's your fault. <laughs> oh shit. If, if toxic gas hasn't killed me yet this morning, he should be okay. Wait, what's up? Somebody uh, somebody gassy at the house? I ate tacos last night, actually. If that helps anyone taste what I'm laying out. Oh. <laughs> Are you the one gassy? Are you the gassy one, mullet? Uh, just regular old beef tacos. Oh, no chorizo or anything on them? Oh. oh. Uh, you know, chorizo is so greasy, but God, it, it's, it's so required on tacos. So you, 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 you do uh, yeah, ground beef and then chorizo as well. Just a sprinkle in there. Oh, cause it's straight chorizo is a little too much. A little too much greasiness. Um, so yeah, I, I like to mix it up a little bit. But oh, God. So now, oh, God, now, now my mouth's watering. I want chorizo. Uh, if you're not already a member of the community, join the Discord. Discord.gg4 slash good guys. Yes. If you are new here, if you're not part of the community and you've been thinking about it, yeah, join. More than welcome. Absolutely love you have you there. We keep up, you can keep up to date with myself, Fisk, and Fooster. Uh, we post, count, uh, when we go live in there, we also, you can message us and suggest any games and stuff. Or if, or if you know, you see I'm doing something wrong, you know, you comment in there as well. I'm going to see that. I, I have been try, uh, trying really hard to keep up uh, with comments. Now, especially now that I am monetized in YouTube. Because uh, especially you know the people that are, you know that join the membership, I, if you're posting comments in the in, in YouTube, I want to stay up to date with that because I mean you you're spending your hard-earned money and you know handing it over to me, you know, and I don't deserve it. So at least I should do is pay you back with you know, replying to you. So um, I have been trying very hard to stay up to date with the YouTube's um, comment section. It's just one more. It's one more social media though. It's it's so it's always like God now uh, I. My mind is overwhelmed already, so I might end up dropping something socially. I don't know what, though. <laughs> I see the problem. Taco is cooking with water instead of gas. <laughs> now we're cooking with water. That's right. I don't understand why this thing won't light. What are we at? Oh, shit. That's filling up pretty, pretty quick. We need 21, but we're going to fill up to 22. Um... This is a 50 liter pot. It's quite large. Um, you're talking about gaming. Uh, it was me, Taco Gassy Gasser. <laughs> You've been blowing it up, huh? One of those mornings. 
I got picky uh, uh, autistic kids, uh, uh, so sometimes we gotta keep things kind of plain. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. One hundred percent. My uh, nephew. My nephew's the same way. Um, are we? Yeah, twenty-one. What did we add before? That seems about right. Yeah, we'll do. We'll, do, we'll keep it at that. We can always add more. Um, slap that in there. Slap that there. We'll get the boil started. Now we have to back up. Chat. Chat ruined everything. Chat ruined our brew. Uh, oh, so we need three. Because we're only adding 2.5, right? And then we need our steeping grains as well, uh, which is Vienna Crystal. Which our steeping grains are here. I went the wrong way. We wanted 150. Uh, add water. Add malt extract. Add steeping grains. Nope, wrong thing. I want that still at place item. That was weird. I had to rotate it in order to place it. Um, turn that back on. We'll add this. Uh, pour. I always hit left click to start pouring. So we need 2.5 of this. Close enough. Place that back in there. Our boil is going. We'll turn up the speed. Uh, we need to get up to 100 degrees. And then we'll add our bittering hops and stuff. Um, he's up to his neck in brewing. Game God. Yes, I am. That's what they call me. Game God Taco. But not when chat's around. Because you always ruin it for me. <laughs> so anybody that catches a VOD, they're, like, they're probably screaming. I wish I was in chat right now. I'd be telling him he's doing it wrong. <laughs> I see the problem. Taco is cooking with water instead of gas. Oh, we got that. We are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Picky. Uh, I made uh, a beer con, uh, con queso. God, I can't even talk right now. I can't even read. Uh, last night. Oh, God. Birian. Or Birria. Fucking. Oh. Um. Oh my god, now I uh, want uh, frijoles, uh, chorizo. Stop talking about chorizo! <laughs> Wait, Vienna Crystal, you're making beer or meth. Stop it! <laughs> I'm not saying that. I, I, you almost got me to say something that get me demonetized. <laughs> <coughs> Make me a fancy beer, Taco. I am, I'm trying. I'm trying. Wait. Story objective. Brew a beer with a category IPA. This isn't that type of beer. Wait. What? What? Hold on. Oh, that's for the story. Oh, that's right. We have the story to follow, but we're doing a job right now. We should have done this one so we would have been able to do this and that at the same time. Ah. We don't have much money. We're gonna have to finish this job so we can get earn some cash because we're gonna have to buy some more ingredients and then we'll do the hoppy one after that. Cause then we'll knock out two things at once. We'll do a job plus the story. Unless I can't turn that in for the story and the job at the same time. So we'll find out. But we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the other beer next though. Chat's fault. Chat's fault. 
So yeah, you have multiple objectives. You have optional objectives in your in your story storyline as well. And once again, I'm gonna reach out to the devs and find out what code they gave me because I'm not seeing some of the stuff um, that was available or is supposedly uh, supposed to be available. Don't forget to add the sugar. <laughs> I won't. That's later. That's later. That's in the fermentation. I added the yeast, but I never added the the um, the sugar. Or while well, that's after the fermentation, then you add the sugar, and then you put transfer into you. So the only step I forgot was to add the sugar before I transferred into the um, carbonation canister. Um, Forgets to put sugar again, blames chat. I will 100% blame chat. Okay, so short story time. I'm at the gas station thinking I could get gas. Turns out there's they're out of gas. What the fuck? How uh, can that happen? Uh, in the EU... Uh, it, yeah, over there I can see that happening because I think a pipeline... There's a pipeline issue over there in the, that neck of the woods. Um... So that sucks. Sorry to hear that, Victoria. And if you know what the pipeline issue is, let's not get into that whole thing, okay? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, I don't want to get into politics and stuff. Um, speed up time. Let's get this thing boiling. Oh, wait, we need to get our... Uh, let's see, we did... Let's do this. We did this. We did this. Working on that. We need 150 Vienna Crystal Steepable, which we did that. Or no, we removed that. Okay, we'll do that next. We need uh, to add, or add our boil or bittering hops, which is 10 grams of the Roth, and then the Ismar, uh, 35 grams. We'll pick the, oh, grab that while we're in here, too. So we need 35 of this. And then 10 of this. And then we'll stow those for right now. We'll get this up to 100 degrees. And we are going to have to transfer some more water. Look at that. So pull that, throw that away, and then this is our Roth. Yep. No! Ah, I did it again. Slap that in there and stow that. We're going to have to add some water. Is that put filling up? Wait, what's going on? Why isn't that filling up? There it goes. All right, that was just a glitch. We had to plug in the line, chat. We had to plug in the line. So we're going to put that back up. So what are we, what are we shooting for? 21, right? Or no, yeah, yeah, we'll call that good. So we're shooting for 20. A 20 gal or a 20 liter batch, right? That should be good right now. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How long we brew, how we got uh, steeping grains now or our bittering grain or hops Jesus uh, for 50 minutes. So basically at uh, 3 a.m. we'll we will uh, um, add our uh, aroma hops. Uh, 
It's only natural gas. I'm all at the point today. Uh, uh, wait, what is on point today with the jokes? Mullet is always on point with jokes. She, she's got some great dad jokes. Actually, her wife sent me a great dad joke the other day. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Where did she send me that? Yeah, I think it was either text or uh, WhatsApp. One of the two. Um, not that one. Not that one. This one. What is it? Oh, yeah. If there's water me melon, shouldn't there be earth melon, fire melon, and air melon? The element, or the elemelons. That's what it was. Yeah, the elemelons. See, it's funnier when you when I read it the first time. <laughs> yeah, uh, us, ju uh, US just lifted the sanction against the pipeline, so uh, hopefully it's going back to normal soon. Uh, uh, uh. Lined up perfect. How could I? Uh, it's uh, nice uh, if you put a list of test steps on screen for you. It'd be nice if they put. Are you trying, Lucas? Are you trying? <laughs> are you trying to be sarcastic? I think you are. <laughs> I know. I skipped the step. I was talking with chat. I didn't add the sugar because chat made me forget. <laughs> You ban Lucas. Ban him. Ban him. <laughs> oh shit. Uh what's up, Hans? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh Hans uh Wan Wang Wang Nerud. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it first try. Shut up, Victoria. Stop it. I'm not saying it again. I can hear her already. I can hear her already, laughing. Ooh, I'm, oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the O with the two dots above it. Say this, Taco. Say it. Say. It. Shut up, Victoria. <laughs> you banned. Uh, half the fun is watching him get mad at chat for not following the task test list. <laughs> it's, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. I'm fine with that pronunciation. Yeah, because I nailed it. You're gonna change it to that. That's how you're gonna. When you, when you introduce yourself, you're going like, to you're gonna actually get a clip of that. This is how you pronounce it. You're going to play that, aren't you? Where's Fooster when you need him? He's busy today. He won't be around till tonight. He's uh, He's got things going on today. Uh, so he's out. Out and about doing his thing. Um, let's see. At 3 o'clock, we're in our uh, other grain. So we're going to boil for another 10 minutes on top of that, right? And then, uh, then we remove. We... All the hops, and then, yep, yep. Uh, truly, no, just comment on your pronunciation. Just to comment on your pronunciation, yeah, everybody. Well, everybody does. I'm. I don't speak other languages, so uh, I mean, I can read Spanish. I, you know, I won't know what it's saying a lot of times. Ninety percent of the time, I won't know what it's saying, but I can. I can pronounce Spanish at least. Just you know, I grew up with with my grandparents that who spoke uh, like to my my parents or my my mom. My mom is Mexican, um, so when when my my uh, my grandparents would speak to her, they'd speak in Spanish a lot. But and then I took Spanish class too. For a year, <laughs> a year and a half, actually, technically. Um, but I'm like, why, why learn another language? Now I wish I would have. Now, now I'm like into like learning more languages and stuff. And I was all excited. I'm like, we're going to Germany. I'm like, I'm gonna, you know, do an online German class. But then I found out most people uh, in Germany speak really good English. So I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> then it kind of took away that, that 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 drive to do it. I mean, I still could, but. And you know, I have no like real reason to, right? Uh, which is great for a Canadian. What? What is? I don't know what you're saying, Shogun. I don't see what you're doing. That is that is the meme that I'm trying to freaking smash. I'm not Canadian. That's what I'm trying to stump my foot on. Uh, uh, though, why you don't know French? Uh, well, I did have a semester of French. Um, but I didn't learn, I don't remember any of it at all, at all, at all. So I did have a French class too, because we had an introductory into language class, 
uh, which ha which was uh, a semester of um, Spanish and a semester of French. And then when you when we went into high school, we could choose between those two. There was no other uh, language classes. Um, and I took a Spanish class uh, and then uh, some people went on and took all four years of Spanish, but no, I had other things. I was, I was into drafting and stuff. I was, so I took architectural classes and stuff like that. So that was all my, um, optional classes were dumped into, uh, engineering and, uh, architecture. Um, and then the mandatory, like I had, a, there was, you know, like the language arts, I think was, wasn't a mandatory, but it was part of a sec that you had to do that, but that wasn't part of other art. It was like language arts, and then there's speech and other stuff, you know, that were grouped together that you had to take one of those credits as well. So I took Spanish. I went to Italy and literally spoke Italian maybe two times. I was so disappointed. So do you speak Italian uh, pretty fluently, Amanda? I take it. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, the English language is is the most popular. Well, popular is kind of the wrong choice of words, but it's the most widely spoken I guess around the world um, so yeah most countries have English classes right uh, Taco doesn't speak French I thought Canadians speak French so there is uh, not all of can Canada that is it's more of what is it Nova Scotia and you know like the north or Canada East is French Canada and then Canada West is America Canada <laughs> um and they don't speak, uh, it's a different type of French. They speak old French. Um, so if, if a, Cana a French Canadian went to France and spoke French, most people in French wouldn't, or in France wouldn't understand them barely because they speak a different type of French. Yeah, French Canadian is, is old school French compared to France French. Um, it's like Mexico. You go to the Dominican Republic. Uh, they speak different Spanish than Mexicans speak their Spanish. And even in, in Spain, it's different. It's different Spanish. It's you know different slang, different dialect. You know, it's it's it's, it's different. You know, but you, they would understand each other for the most part. I guess in uh, yeah, French Canadian is way different, or quite a bit different though. From what I, from what I understand, I don't know. I never speak to them, so <laughs> I never speak French. My whole family is Italian. My grandparents speak it regularly. Oh, that's awesome. That's sweet. Uh, does that mean the Canadians need the Uwers to be for taco uh, to accept us? Wait, does that mean the Canadians need to Uwers to for taco to understand them? That question confuses me. Sorry, sorry, douchebag, but that's... that's I'm, I'm a little confused by that. <laughs> I had three years of Spanish in high school. Yeah, I, I, so I had one. Yeah, I did the one year, my freshman year. What's up, dude? What's up, Dylan? Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh. Oh, uh, okay. Need to be. Need to be. Need to be. Let me see. Does that mean the Canadians need to be Uwurs too for Taco them? Uh, oh, yes. Maybe not the American side, not the West Coast side. The West Coast, like I said, they're very hipster-esque. Because they're very Americanized. Americanized. Um, dialects can be diff uh, different even within countries. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, look at the U.S., right? Like, my grandparents speak Italian different than Rome because they grew up in Southern... Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's state. I mean, especially in the U.S., right? Spe the U.S. is huge. And we're made up of a, ho of a hodgepodge of all different countries and different... You know, I mean, like, look at Louisiana. That's, you know, French Canadian mixed with, you know, deep south. Here's some beer money. Laugh out loud. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you for the five bones. Much appreciated. First super chat of the day. And Dylan comes in and gets the Doris dance. I'm, I'm going to come up with a new uh, audio um, tone for that. Um, I just used a generic one because I, I couldn't think of one a fun one to do. Um, those of you are, if you are, if you are just joined in today, I did make some changes. So the announcements come in a little different. I fixed the game capture. I was able after stream, drop it. So it sits at the bottom and everything else, you know, up here is on top. And, uh, also, uh, like I said, I changed, I changed the sound alerts. So if you're interested, 
You know, if you become a member, you will now hear... <laughs> so, and it's so annoying. I, I love it. What's up, chat? What's up? Uh, how y'all doing? Dylan, dude, much appreciated. Five bones. You know, thank you for your hard-earned cash. It greatly appreciated. Unnecessary, and but greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh... Vanilla Sanchez, uh, welcome back. Welcome back. You were here yesterday, right? How you? How's your day? Doing good. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, you know it's been uh, be an ooh noise, right? It has to be an ooh noise. No, for that, no. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I might have Fist say something for me. Douchebag coming in with a sticker, which that should pop up as an alert too. There it is. Yeah. So I'll do it. I'll, like I said, I'll do something because you guys deserve something more than do 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 throwing your money at me. Thank you for the 20 bones, douchebag. Dude, douchebag Steve. Seriously. Both of you. Dylan, douchebag. Thank you both very much. $20 rolling in. Or $19.99. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, Just not another ooh noise, please. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll come up with something. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll do it. We'll do... I'll come up with something. Whether it be myself... Or like I said, maybe I'll throw Al oh, Fisk kind of come up with something. Fisk could come up with something on the, on, on, on the cuff, right? He'd be like, like, Fisk, I need a funny noise. And he'll be all crazy. Oh, a subscription as well. I'm not changing that because that is a no sound effect that I did create a long time ago. For people that join or be, that subscribe, which subscription is free. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be alerted next time I go live. Thank you for the subscription. He's un... Uh, Oh, peace unleashed. I thought I said peas. Peas. Peas unleashed. Peace unleashed. Thank you for the subscription. Much appreciated. Welcome in to my channel and uh, welcome to the Ooh Nation. Yes, it's the Ooh Ooh Nation. Chat forced it on me. I hate it. I hate the term Ooh Ooh, but chat wouldn't let it go. So Ooh Ooh is the new thing here and i hate hate them all for it i hate them all for it pretty good uh sitting here watching this storm roll into north carolina okay stay safe hopefully hopefully it's dying down a lot more than it hit when it hit florida um if you are in florida hopefully everybody's doing well or anybody in the line of this 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 hurricane now it's, now it's now down to a storm but uh, stay safe keep yourself keep yourself safe and in indoors for for the day please um Fist screaming is hilarious. Fist screaming is hilarious. Fisk everything is hilarious. If you if you're new to the channel, if you're just new to this community, uh, Discord.gg4 is such a good guys. There's three of us: myself, Fisk, and Booster. We all make content. Fisk and Fisk goes live uh, once a week on Sundays. Um, and he, he now he retired from his uh, full time or from his IRL job, so he is actually uh, doing full time content creator. And I think he's uh, going to do maybe more streams on the weekend. I'm not 100 percent sure. But uh, we have Fisk and Fooster. Fooster does uh, only, or mainly, I should say, videos, recorded videos. So, um, uh, but he doesn't say he won't go live. He did go live on Twitch a while back, but it'll be a while. I'm happy to finally make it out of stream. Thank you for being here. I'm going to call you Peas Unleashed now because that's what I accidentally called you. And it's just, you know, it, you know, so don't take offense. I changed names. I changed a lot of people's names. <laughs> it happens. Uh, me. What's me? I see me. Vinia. 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 Uh, Sanchez. Uh, me. What's what's up with me? You? Me. <laughs> Hi. You. <laughs> hurricane hit us. The hurricane hit us. Oh, it hit ya? Okay. I hope I hope I hope you're all good. Hope your family's safe. Hope everybody, your neighbors, yourself, and everything is good. So stay, 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 stay safe. Thank you for so joining in, taking the time to join in, Vinia. Um. Every time Taco is everything Taco is hilarious. Thank you, Murph. Welcome back. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, I, you know the funny thing is, I try not to be, but my stupidity. I think people. Say, what time? Oh, speaking of, what time were we supposed to? We're supposed to finish this up at three. I said we we're gonna make a quick brew this time to get through this, but look at I'm just talking with chat. We're just letting this boil slowly, and we're we're just talking with chat. Hi, family in Fort Myers. So insane down there. Please be safe, everyone. Yes, Amanda. Yes. Uh, yes, to them too, for sure. You know, be, uh, Taco says, stay safe. Like, Who the fuck's Taco? 
Uh, I think he said he'd continue uh, the one weekend stream. Another if we're lucky and I'll put more work into the videos. Yeah, there'll definitely be more videos because, I mean, that's going to be his full-time thing, full-time gig now. So you're going to see a lot more videos or even more, you know, edited editing into his videos because he'll have more time to do it because I mean, he, he was grinding hard, right? He would literally go to work, work a full shift, come home, say hi to the missus, sit down or eat possibly sit down record edit and then get things ready and then have to you know upload all that stuff so it, it, you know it, it was a, it was a grind yeah and i'm very happy i'm so happy he was able to uh you know he got he was able to be put in a position where he could leave his irl job and do something he's loving to do and that's editing because he, he did it once with twitch he went full-time twitch and left his job and he enjoyed it at first, but yeah, you know, I mean, live streaming is difficult. Live streaming is very difficult. It's it, it's mentally challenging on you trying to keep up with chat. Um, it, it's it's definitely a challenge. So I'm I'm so happy he's loving loving editing because there's a lot less pressure as well. I love it. it makes me sound like uh, I'm half open um, chaotic can I, <laughs> can of peas. Uh, I was thinking more <laughs> peas unleashed. Okay, I like that even better now though. Yeah, you are. You're a chaotic can of peas. You're just going nuts. <laughs> I'm finally home. Well, welcome home, Victoria. Welcome back. And thank you for not chatting while I was. So, so she was driving when I when I made the comment about my my, my saying words wrong. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know who's who this taco is, but but he's super handsome. Yes, I am Olaf. I'm super duper handsome, and I look good in skinny jeans. Drove around for an hour to find a gas station. Damn, that sucks. Damn, that really sucks. Um, dude, I almost hit an old couple crossing the street. Wait, what? Uh, uh, uh so that's why that's why you're not supposed to be in chat while you're driving. Victoria almost ran into, almost took out some old people because of it. <laughs> Are my no, they're not. I thought I had my uh, my pants inside out. <laughs> I have some sweats. They're not some sweats, but what are they? Uh, they're like thin black, um, you know, cloth material or whatever cotton material, um, just cotton pants that my wife had gotten me, and I put them on inside out two weekends ago, and I I, I sat here live the whole time, and I realized I went upstairs to put something in my pocket to come back down. And uh, I wanted to put it in my pocket. My my pockets were hanging out. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, my pants are inside out. They're black, so you know I don't really. You know, I just throw them on. It's dark in my bedroom when I get up. I don't want to wake my wife up when I wake up. So I just throw them on. Didn't even realize old people shouldn't be jaywalking. That's right, no jaywalking. Stay safe. Old people, nobody should be jaywalking. Anyways, <laughs> Victoria has started a snow in Austria yet? Has it? That's a good question. I don't even use uh, TikTok, Dylan. They, they call you TikTok Olaf. He's the TikTok god. He does all the TikTok dances. Uh, yes, I felt really bad because you were so, so nice. You felt bad because I was nice? Wait a minute. That can't have been towards me. Um, just a joke. Uh, great stream yesterday, Olaf. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not aware, Olaf does stream. Streams on YouTube and Twitch. He just started doing the YouTube thing. So uh, check him out. Click on the three buttons on this right. You can go to his YouTube channel, and there's a link to his Twitch page from there as well. Um, your beard is epic. Olaf is an ep epic player. Honestly, though, Hunt Showdown, he is a god. He goes in with just a bottle, a broken bottle, and he'll 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 wipe. He'll end up wiping out, you know, five people, and you know, vanquish the monster or whatever you got to do in that game, and then and and then eject out <laughs> I'm saying everything wrong um, I'm not driving while chatting again don't worry you better not be you better not be seriously like I said like, like I said if you are if you do say you're driving and uh, uh, chatting you will get timed out for your safety I don't want anybody doing that so the mods will time you out for that um, but it'll be a timeout 
It won't be a ban, but it'll be a 10 minute timeout. Because I don't want you chatting. I want you to just pay, be driving, paying attention to the road, please. Okay. Uh, no snow yet, just uh, really cold in Vienna, at least. Uh, but Vienna rarely gets snow. Uh, I need to kill my beard, Shogun. You need to kill your beard? What? <clears throat> what I'm going to do real quick. We're going, we got to go till 3 a.m. on this boil. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Uh, grab a cup of coffee and then we'll take, we'll take, we'll turn the speed up and we'll get this brew. We'll get this beer brewing faster. Um, so I'll be right back. One second chat. Do do do. Uh, um, so I've I failed twice at brewing coffee with our new coffee maker. Um, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to fill the water line water level up beyond where it says max because it will overfill the coffee pot and 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 brew over. Um, and and basically coffee will spill everywhere. And then also you want to make sure you add the water because that's what I forgot to do this morning. I ground, I ground, I didn't want, I don't want to start the coffee too early because then it's not warm for my wife when she gets up. So I like to start it at 6 a.m. Um, but I started at 6.30 when I went to go grab the donuts uh, and I, um, but I, I, I pre-ground, I ground all the coffee beans, put them in and I, I forgot to put the water in. So when the donuts arrived, I, I stopped by the coffee machine, hit power, hit brew, went out, grabbed the donuts, came downstairs, and I went upstairs to get coffee, and there was no coffee because there's no water. <laughs> uh, how did the casserole turn out? Oh, the, the breakfast casserole turned out good. It turned out good. Um, you, uh, Onan's not here. Oh, you, Onan's the best judge. Onan loves breakfast casserole as much as I do. I don't know. My... I, I think my where did my wife get that from? I think my dad actually my, my aunts wanted to put together a cookbook or something like a family cookbook, so they asked for like family members to post recipes. And my dad supplied this breakfast casserole that he's never made. He doesn't remember where he got it or where, where I think is it, it. But then my wife decided to try it, and it's so freaking good. So you know, but my the only person that doesn't like it is my youngest, my youngest daughter. She is not a fan. She's kind of picky. She doesn't like potatoes. 
and there's hash browns in it. Um, if you don't, don't know what hash browns, it's basically shredded potato, um, and then they're fried. Uh, but there's hash browns, there's uh, cheese, sausage, um, there's like chip dip, and I don't know, it's all mixed together and gets baked for an hour, basically, or 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Delicious. Phenomenal. And it tastes great with Frank's Red Hot, like everything does. So I usually put Frank's Red Hot on it, but yeah, it turned out great. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. <laughs> surprised you're not yelling that at me. Um, let me guess, it's Taco Chat's fault. Yes, it's Taco Chat. It's your fault. It, it was Chat's fault that I forgot to put the water in the coffee machine. So now it's brewing again, so I will have to dip out again in a minute to go grab my coffee. But Oh, and I, I have my awesome coffee mug that says Trophy Husband on it. Um, I'll, 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 I'll take a, I'll take my phone up with me. I'll take a picture and I'll post it. I'll post it. Uh, yeah, it says trophy husband because that's what I am. Uh, be jealous chat. <laughs> my wife didn't even get it for me. <laughs> if my wife was a chat, she'd be typing right. Shoot. His mom got it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, breakfast gas roll sounds amazing. It's so freaking good. I can't tell you how good it is. It, it works. Um, so my son, like, they'd have like school or classroom parties or whatever. And one year he took breakfast casserole, and it was gone before he even got to it. He it, he. So now when he takes it, like when they have a class, they not have technically parties. I don't know. And, and, and long story behind all that, but they have. Uh, like classroom Eden's or something was it called? But either way, now he has to take two pans worth of casserole so he can actually have some. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets demolished. It's it, it it's delicious. Damn it, Taco, you're making me hungry. Now I gotta make some waffles. Oh, waffles sound good too. I love good waffle. Um, it's freedom thing, Victoria. It is. It's a freedom thing. <laughs> Anything with meat is freedom. I hate Frank's at Red Hot. What you do? Oh, lo is, is it because it's hot? Frank's. Well, it depends on what Frank's you get. There's different levels of Frank's. Um, like the buffalo chicken one is like one of is, is like a little bit hotter than the basic Frank's. I think. Well, you get different levels of it. I love Frank's. The flavoring of Frank's is so good. Oh, it's like there's things that you always put on. Like uh, like Frank's, I put on a lot of things. Uh, but the breakfast casserole, 100 percent of the, almost 100 percent of the time, 90 percent of the time. Um, but like in chili, like my, my wife made chili the other day, always grab sriracha. I always have to have bottle sriracha because I like it hot. The kid or my youngest doesn't like spicy as much. She's getting into it a little bit more, but yeah. So I always have to have sriracha to add some, you know, that, those good sriracha flavors to it. Um, you know, I said I was going to speed this up and I came back and you chat or distracting me. Oh my god, I went too long. Shit, I was only supposed to go till 3 o'clock. Damn it, shit. Uh, oh no, we gotta leave that in. No! Oh my god, we're doing everything wrong now. Put that back. We need to add our steep. or our aroma. or aromatic hops. God dang it. E, place. We need to add more water. Oh, we're good with water at the moment. Gosh darn it. We went way too long. This is chat's fault. I sped it up, and I sped it up too fast. <laughs> Who says this game is easy? <laughs> oh, true love. I didn't know there were different levels of Franks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should be all oh, near in the in like at a my I'm like here in the Midwest we have a thing called Meyer. It's like a Walmart basically. It's a Midwest Walmart. Um, um, yeah, you go down the, the 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 sauce aisles like that. Yeah, you'll see all sorts of them. Even Walmart though will have all, all those. But if you get on their website, Frank's Red Hot web, or Frank's web website, you'll see all the different flavors. Um, I love the the buffalo chicken one. is so freaking good. So good. I have missed the old G Sriracha. It's banned in the EU. Is it really banned in the EU? I didn't know that. That sucks. That that sucks. Um. 
Know the sauce, Valentina? I never heard of Valentina sauce. Don't know that. Don't know what that is. Don't forget the sugar tiger. I won't. I won't. I won't. Chat. Why do you do these things? Thank you. Thank you, Mullet. Thank you for defending me. They made me go beyond my time. Um. Let's get this boil finished, though. A little bit longer, and there we go. We'll call that good. E, E, E. Throw that away, throw that away. Uh, we're going to need this. Place that there. We're going to need the fermenter. We will slap that there. How's our how's our water level? All right, we're just above twenty, so we should be at like nineteen eight ish by the time we do the transfer. So that's gonna boil down actually still. Um, we did that. Remove that. That we're cool on the wort now. <clears throat> She is saucy. Oh, I say Frank. Frank's always slaps. Always have uh, that crystal and uh, capitillo. <laughs> she is saucy. Who's saucy? If this beer is not going to be the best, I'll be. I'll unsub. <laughs> but no pressure. <laughs> unsub. Be prepared to unsub. Chat. Immediate stress. It is. It's so easy. I get so distracted. I get. I'm. I'm ooh shiny thing taco is what I am. Just drink a beer, it helps. It would, it would. I want a beer, but I can't have a beer yet. I gotta work out and I do not want to have a beer before a workout. And it's, yeah. You know, you got, you got a lot of cardio involved and weights involved and yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. I don't want a beer before that. Um, Tapatio is the best, it is, yes, it's very good. Uh, taco is on the website daily. With the, the Frank's Red Hot website. Uh, Frank's sponsorship coming. Inbound. That's right. Be, yeah, just make sure you post, post in their comments. I, I found out about this place in Frank, so it'll be a taco sauce and post my post my uh, my YouTube channel. Let's <laughs> see if they can sponsor a video. How crazy would that be? This video is sponsored by Frank's Red Hot, where you get the heat is hot from all the Franks. <laughs> I don't know. Um... That's because you're a heathen taco. Valentina is the best. I'll check. I'll take a look at it. I'll see what, what it is. I'll take a look. Uh, the reason sriracha is banned because of ingredients called E222. Is it? Is that what it is? Uh, uh, an ingredient? I know they had to shut down because they, they I think their facility is in California, I want to say. They ended up having to shut their plant down until they fixed uh their ventilation system because they were venting the spices out through the roof and it got so bad that like like uh there's this high school nearby or something the kids out there playing sports they they couldn't breathe and the eyes started burning skin started burning because of the the, the particulates in the air <laughs> taco don't work uh overnights he just uh, wakes up early to check red hot sauce website. That's right. I don't I don't go into work early I just check all the websites for all the the hot sauces uh, Welcome back William. Welcome back William Welcome back. Sorry I fell asleep. All good Sleep sleep away. All good. No, 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 no big deal. No, no, it's actually banned because the bottle it says Press C for oh God, stop it <laughs> Damn you Victoria <laughs> Damn you how did that become a meme in here is just one of those uh, country guys who gets up before the rooster crows i am 100 percent. i've always been an early riser always been an early riser we right, want 20 c um yeah they have e222 in beer and so on but it's not allowed in the sr sriracha sauce i didn't know that that's crazy all the all, all this talk is really making me want to make a buffalo chicken dip. Oh God, right? My wife makes a really good buffalo chicken dip. Uh, with Anna, and she uses Frank's in it too. Oh, it's so good. 
I want that now too. Oh. Wife, if you happen to be listening, buffalo chicken dip, please. She heard last time. Or it was, I think somebody uh, said, uh, was it wa or pancakes or waffles or whatever? I can't remember, but breakfast. So she made breakfast for, for dinner the, the last week because uh, somebody made a comment about it and then she heard. <laughs> and I was like, it sounds good, so good. And she's like, it, so, it does sound good. So we had breakfast for dinner. All right, close enough. Um, open that. Transfer to ferment. Add yeast to ferment. Can I be very well yeast? Yes, I'm so. We're almost there. If we don't do it at 20, will that make a difference? I mean, it's. I don't understand the Celsius thing because it's not freedom units. I mean, look at now that I think about it. Fucking the, the temperature. This is why this this is why Victoria likes Celsius so much. Look, it's pressing C. <laughs> um, so let, let, let's get it down. Let's get it down to let's get it down to the proper temp. We already overboiled the bittering hops. I feel like I feel like I could spill if I over pour it. Eighteen point eight. Damn, we lost a lot, didn't we? Slap that in there. Um, damn, we're down a. Oh no 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 no! Not bad. We're at 19.7. So that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I said 19.8, didn't I? Did I not almost call that? Zero is freezing, 100 is boil. That's it. I get that. I get that. But I don't like it. Because 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. <laughs> that's the proper temperature. Imperial system. Thank you very much. Freedom. Kaka. <laughs> Uh, and we need to add the yeast. Oh, God dang it. I go to here for the yeast, and the yeast is in here. So it must be a liquid pack. Um, I always grab two of those two. I double tap for some reason. E. Slap that lid on. We can loop, throw that away, put that back in there, and uh, ferment for 15 days, which is a pretty short ferment cycle. Fifteen day ferment accomplished. Check. Sugar chat. We cannot forget the sugar. <laughs> Add 220 uh, of corn sugar, but it suggested that we do more than that, right? Um, can we look at that in here? We can, I think, right? Jobs. Um, Jeff's tips. If the refrigerator doesn't include German hops, let's try throwing them in any way to increase the carbonation. Add more sugar before the final conditioning phase. To increase the carbonation, because our goal is to hit at least two. But this beer style actually calls for a 2.8 vol one volume of, uh, of carbonation which is quite high is really high that's a that's I mean look at the head on that look at the head on that that's you know that's that's a nice lacy head um that means there's a lot of protein in here usually you get a lot of, you know a uh, uh, uh a well carbonated, and when you get a lot of stand st standing bubbles like that, uh, it, it usually means there's a lot of protein in the beer, a lot, lot more uh, extra protein. And, and you know, it also could mean that there's a lot of unfermentable sugars in there, which isn't the best thing. Uh, so sugar, we grab, we gotta grab the sugar, 220 grams, which I think we just buy, we get it in a packet. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, 
for. And the funny thing is, IRL, you do a checklist IRL and you can easily accidentally skip steps. So we put a little bit more, we, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. We did a little bit more. We're getting a little extra carbonation in there. Let's do 50. Let's try to get, let's try to hit that 50 mark. Oh, we went over. Ah! <laughs> We're going to have way too much carbonation. And then let's put the lid back on that. Now we need our trans, we need to transfer into our carbonation unit. <sighs> I was, crap. One too many. And take the lid off of that. Where's our hose? Connect tube. Connect tube. Open. We won't. We don't want this on. Actually, in all actuality, you would. When you transfer, you transfer different. You trans. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, e. Normally, you just a dip tube. You transfer from the bottom, just sort of from the bottom, and then you that way you're not getting any. But if you leave the top off, you know, anything exposed at the top there, and you stop it right before you get there, so you're not going to get any contamination. I'm in America, but worked in Dublin for a few years, and I hate to say it, but metric is just better. Joseph Clark, I appreciate all your, 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 your super chats and everything, but you're banned 100%. Ban Joseph. Ban him. Ban him. Ban him. <laughs> Murph, welcome. Welcome in. I always think uh, of you, Olaf. What do you think of Olaf? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, I always think of Olaf, too. Don't be taking my Olaf from me. Uh, thank you, Joseph. Even if Victoria pulls a taco and forgets. What, what did Victoria forget? I don't forget anything. Chat distracts me. One of us, one of us, one of us. Oh, God, there's the freaking chant. There's the chant. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my coffee while this is uh, transferring, and then we'll we'll speed up the transfer after. Uh, let's see here. Let's speed uh, this transfer up. And that's that. Hold the tube. Slap the lid on. Pick that up. Clean it. Put that away. Don't need that anymore. Pick that up and did that. Transfer to conditioner. Condition for 21 days. Uh, 
<clears throat> Let's uh, catch up on chat. Sorry if I missed anything while I was upstairs. Uh, it gives looks like they're having a bunch of conversation between each other. How dare you? How dare you? I have to keep it down now. The wife's starting to work, so I am... Can't uh, get too loud anymore. Um, I do got to say, if Sweden has one thing going for it, they have some decent metal bands. <laughs> Are you a metal band kind of dude, William? Olaf loves metal too. Um, I'm some metal. I'm 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 some metal. I, Slipknot, old school Slipknot. I love it. Um, but the, the nice thing about Slipknot, ah. Uh, not all the songs, but a lot of the songs. It's not just scream, um, you know, fast beat and stuff. But uh, uh, uh. don't miss anything, Taco. It's too late. I did. I missed it all. Normal combo as usual. You missed Victoria bullying poor Olaf. Victoria, you leave Olaf alone. My boy Olaf. Uh, they will, uh, just open up exactly everything that, that can be opened and drive her nuts and then just pay me to take him, take him back. Uh, I love y'all. You're just the best kind of worst. <laughs> Chat is, right? All right, so we did that. Now it's time to taste the beer. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, let's see, 19 SRM, carbonation. We, oh gosh, we are so high on the carbonation. <laughs> we, our goal was 28 and we're at 347. Holy cow, that's a lot. Yeah, pinned recipe 2.81 and we are, we're quite a bit more carbonation. So this a nice thing about carbonation, you can actually get rid of carbonation just letting it sit there. Um, so you know it's actually kind of nice to have a little more carbonation. It, like when when you submit a beer to a competition, a lot of times you're gonna actually over carbonate a little bit because what happens is they pour they pour the the bottles will get warm over time if um, and then they pour the beers and then they also swirl and smell. So through all that process, a lot of carbonation gets released and you know, a lot of the carbonation is based off of as soon as you pour it and you drink it. So you want that a little more carbonation. So you still, cause carbonation actually adds flavor to, um, to a beer. So, you know, if you have a flat pop, if you have a, or a soda, a lot of, most of the country calls it, but the, um, if it, if it gets flat, it tastes different, right? Because the carbonation actually adds a lot of uh, flavor in mouthfeel to it, right? The same concept. So, I mean, in all honesty, for a competition beer, this is almost maybe a little high, but this is almost what you'd want. You want higher than normal. So, by the time you the the taster drinks it, it's going to be at the 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 amount that it's supposed to be at per style, because style is everything when it comes to competition. Uh, multi sweetness is a uh, see, happy and bitter is very multi and sweet, which is. I think according to this profile. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of clove, citrus, phenolic, apricot, and sulfur. So we got a little bit of sulfur, which isn't good. Six. Let's see, this is one of the bad uh, flavors there. So that's not good. <clears throat> But I think that may have came from the overboiling. We, we the bittering hops uh, when we, we overboiled that, so we probably got a little bit of sulfur from that. <clears throat> uh, final gravity, original gravity, one point five eight. Uh, so our, our contamination is actually quite low, but that also probably came from our overboil. We boiled off a lot of contamination. Um. Uh. Our final gravity 1.12. So this is actually a pretty low alcohol beer. ABV 6. Uh, here we go. Yeah, 6.08. I don't remember the math. I'll have to look. I have the book. Like I have the book right here. The equation. Wait, so you subtract this and you 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 just do a math equation and it gives you this. Um. 
15.81 IBUs. Recipe match. So we actually fall within a Scottish style or Scottish export and a so we, we fall within the recipe, which is good. Well, sorta. We're only 63% of it. <laughs> I take that back. Was not good. We're not very good at it. This is what we were going for. We missed the original gravity. Um, ABV. So yeah, uh, we needed to get a lower uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, carbonation was too high. Uh, and if flavor notes match, not nah, nope. And then, then body. Damn it. So it was a big old. It was a big old fail. But we're gonna cash it in either way. We're above 50%. We're going to cash it in. Um, once you're done packaging your beer, you can submit the jobs. To turn it in. Yeah, we already know all that. The beer name. Well, we're going to name it. Um, Steve's. Steve was the big dono today. Um, Steve's failed brew. <laughs> Submitted as that. Do we have any more options? We still don't have any more options of, of bottles. We want Pilsner. Even though it's not technically a Pils, because the Pils is a, is a lager. Oh, so the yeah, it's a vice beer. It's supposed to be a vice beer, so we'll do a vice and glass. Um, label maker. Templates. What what we we get Steve? What does Steve mean to you? Uh, Steve's failed beer. Do something simple, plain. Rabbit. We don't. Uh, yeah, let's see. We'll do this. We'll do something. Yeah, something something plain, Jane. Because it, it wasn't the best beer. See, I don't know. Like this stuff doesn't do anything. Text. Wait, where's the illustration border? Text. Beer name. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. It's kind of plain Jane because it was uh, it was kind of a failed beer. There you go, Steve. I'd probably fail making it a beer or make, uh, at a beer too. It, it is a difficult process. It's a, there's a lot of work, and you know, especially once you get drinking. Confirm. Uh, return to workshop. Submit beer. I'm sure we won't. We. You must match the required. Oh wait a minute. Tragic brood. We'll do that one. So we hit the requirements here. Small batch, use at least uh, one hops from Germany, carbonation, at least two. So we hit we hit the markers for that. So tragically good, we get this. We get some cash, we get a mastery level, and a bonus. And we get the bonus, we hit the bonus, so. Sweet. So, so Steve, even though it was a failed beer in matching style, it's still a good beer and it matches what was required for the job. So we will take it. Boom. Homebrew mastery. Your reputation of brewing the world, a complete job competition, increase the mastery level. Each new level grants rewards as well as unlocking new jobs, recipes, and items in the catalog. Okay, so we open more catalog items. Nice. And there's your bottle. We'll slap you up. Put you up there on the shelf as well. What if I could place no hold on me there? We'll have to put more shelves up too, I think. Um here we go. Look at that. Look at us go, chat. I wonder if we unlocked more stuff then. No jobs tracked. Um catalog. Still no mash ton. We have a, a larger, did we have a larger one before? Did we? No, I think we had two in the first place. Yeah, there's nothing new there. 
ingredient wise i don't know i didn't really go through all the ingredients what was available so i don't know if we have any more of this fruit extracts nice cosmetics yeah so we'll have to do more shelves for all the beers i'd love if they had like a wine you know like the wine bottle holders where they hold them um sideways and you can read the labels that's what that'd be pretty sweet um but you know that you don't want a beer laying on its side because you don't want the beer exposed to the cap. Um, but for display purposes, it's nice. Sai, welcome back. Sai, the writer. Um, sorry, I feel like you guys were talking to me in chat. I was doing this stuff. Pinned recipes. Um, okay, that's the... Okay, cool. Um, should we try to knock out that job real quick? The, the story objective? How long have we been live for? We've been live for 2 hours 41 for this stream. And we're alive for another hour before. So we're at almost pushing 4 hours today. I need to mow the lawn. Once again, I need to mow the lawn today. And I need to work out. So, But the lawn is still wet because we had frost. Hello all morning taco. Good morning, Boholt. But I appreciate it, Boholt. If you, 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 you say hi to me first. And then chat. Because, I mean... Who really cares about the rest of them people in chat? Other than Olaf. Olaf's amazing. <laughs> and mullet. <laughs> the rest of them. You know, me first. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. The gasp. <gasps> How dare you? Stay safe, John. John, you heading out? Uh, John, I wish I could stay, but keep watching. But need to sleep because work is always early in the morning. Be, be safe, everyone. Yes, thank you for stopping in, John. Thank you very much. Appreciated. Stay safe, what Victoria said. I was going to say... <laughs> and 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 all right and victoria <laughs> and <laughs> wait when did you become a weebish when did all right wait what oh guys talking dungeons and dragons or dungeons and dragons i can't i can't even say that dungeons and dragons i've never played dungeons and dragons i watched a little bit of it and i couldn't get into it i couldn't get into it it wasn't my cup of tea I don't think I ever I could get into Dungeons and Dragons. I understand it though. I mean, like I do um, when we when we do scum and stuff, we do RP, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, that's different though. So, uh, Dungeons and Dragons is it's all it's a majority imagination, right? You know, the dungeon master, and then and you you come to a door. You have to choose: do you open it or do you stay where you're at when you're being chased and haunted by? such and such a thing you know it's like uh, and then and then you, i choose to open it then you roll your dice if you're gonna be able to open the door if you have the strength to you know i'm like okay <laughs> it's just too much too much to keep track of and now you can i know you can play without rp in it as well but yeah i don't know that, that it was never really appealed to my my taste um but like i said i understand i understand the concept of it i could be a good dungeon master couldn't i <laughs> yeah let's start this story um Uh, so we have that going. We need to brew a hoppy beer, right? Beer, brew a beer uh, category IPA. So recipes, IPA, but we have, a, see if we do this job, does it count for our story as well? We gain a mash ton if, when we cre uh, complete this, but we need the money anyway. So we could do this. And if it happens to complete this as well, then perfect. But I think we're supposed to be submitting this to this dude. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Jeff is devoted to spreading knowledge. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. We know who you are. A fresh reason upon the beer. Breweries mean things. Oh! <laughs> there it is. A membership. Thank you for joining. Our oh, actually, he's gifted. Five gifted memberships. Oh, jeez. Joseph Clark, thank you very much for the gift. Now we're going to have to listen to that five times. Joseph, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Uh, and then he rolls in with a super chat. I got to go, but thanks for the stream, Taco. Bye, mm -hmm. mod. Bye, chat. Thank you again for the five gifted memberships and for the super chat, Joseph Clark. Joseph, Joseph Clark is a machine. All these last three streams just coming in hot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can't tell you. It's, it's unnecessary, but much appreciated, dude. And we had to listen to that damn ooh-woo. <laughs> we 
<laughs> what a cool guy. Yeah, exactly. Joseph Clark. What a freaking cool, cool dude. Absolutely. So if you got a, if you got a membership, uh, make sure you thank Joseph. Shoot him a thank you for sure. Amanda, thank you for the oo-woos. <laughs> God. <laughs> These damn oo-woo. Ugh. I hated recording that. I made sure my family was out of the house. My wife had left because uh, I should have been in here because I was yelling it into the microphone. I was doing it real loud so it would pick up. Uh, and she would have been walking in here. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, so we're going to actually do this job, which is I think is an IPA. This, or no, it's just making a hoppy beer, right? Um to celebrate and create a new uh, community garden, and organizers look at a beer that show the importance of hops and brewing that is a bitter, more bitter, the better. Actually, the, the more bitter, the more better uh, is the better way of saying it. Oh, thank you for the subscription, by the way, Lucas McMohan. Welcome in to, oh God, I hope you didn't join here when well, oh, the oohs were going off. But if you were, welcome to the ooh. Oh God, <laughs> Howell has subscri subscribed as well. Oh, wait a minute. Has become a member. Sorry. Uh, where is that? Oh, so that was another claimed one. That was another claimed one. That was, so that was, I was going to say, I didn't think we got all the ones that popped in. Because that's one cool thing is uh, when you're gifted subs or memberships, you you can you can claim them. You don't have to claim them, which is pretty cool. Um, because some people like to lurk and they don't want their names to be shown. So you don't have to accept them, right? That's which is a very cool thing. You don't have to, you know, they don't have to show that you've been lurking I love that about YouTube. So either way, welcome into the nation. <laughs> and thank you again for the subscription, Lucas. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell and you get alerted when I go live. Also, discord.gg forward slash the good guys. You can keep up with the community. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, anyway, uh, the celebrate the creation of new community garden uh, organizers looking to a beer that shows off the importance of hops in brewing. The more bitter, the more better. -er. Bitterness is a measurement of IBUs and can we know all that? Alpha acids. Uh, so we have to do a small batch. Uh, IBUs at least 20. A bonus requirement if we hit at least 30 IBUs. So let's see if we have a recipe that um, matches that. But we'll take that job. Take job. And then we'll pin that. We don't want... No, that's submitting a beer. We don't have a beer to submit. Recipes. IPA. Eh, eh, eh. New England IPA. That's what we have. Okay, extract. So uh, those of you who don't know what a New England IPA is, a New England style uh, is actually usually and they it's li usually listed as Nipa. So like the, the all this would be cut out. It'd be N I P A. Those are hazy IPAs. So in all actuality, this isn't correct. This image here, uh, a New England style IPA is um. Yeah, considered a hazy IPA, so it's it's it, the clarity is ex well there it is I have it here extremely hazy right, um, body mouth feels a, a texture a thickness of beer range from very thin to a very heavy body affected protein oh I'm in the body my bad uh, op opacity is generally the haziness of the beer ranging from brilliantly clear hate or extremely hazy clarity is affected by protein dissolved ingredients sugars and contaminations. So yeah, it's normally like just, it's, it's hazy as hell, but it's so good. I love a good Nippa. Nippa was the, like the new thing. Um, we have a local brewery called new, um, Old Nation. They were actually struggling. They were at, uh, not on the verge of bankruptcy, but they, were, they weren't doing too well. Then they, they submitted a beer, uh, their M43 is what it's called. And it blew up nationwide. A beer advocate, I think, uh, ranked it. I think they ranked it number one New England style IPA, um, and that actually took them to a new level. And then it became a sought after beer around around the world. So yeah, it's it's what amazing what one single beer can do for a, a company. Um, but yeah, M forty three. If you if you have, if you can find it near you, grab it. It's it's one of the best uh, New England style IPAs. Or one of the better now because I, I that's that's been a while since they made that or since you know that happened and now now they're everywhere um what's the grains what's the goal here for this beer per, in particular 
IBUs of 41.7. So we're going to, yeah, this will hit our bonus too. So pin this recipe. This is what we're going for. Um, we're going to do the large bo boil kettle again. Oops, I didn't grab it. There we go. And we can't, we got we to use, we got to put it on the floor in order to fill it up. Turn that on, and while that's filling up, we'll grab our other stuff. Uh, another extract brew. Uh, we are, we will, if if we if this does complete the story mission for us, we will get a mash ton. So hopefully we'll be able to start doing all grain instead of doing extract brewing. Like I said, because there's three steps of brew, through three major steps of brewing: mashing, uh, the 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 boil, and then fermentation. And we've been doing the boil and fermentation because we've been get using malt as extract instead of mashing. Um, so we need three kilograms of light malt extract and wheat, and then six six hundred grams of wheat malt extract. And then six hundred of this is what was it? Guess we're gonna have to pour in 600. Ugh, let's see, F and then uh, steepable grains, uh, container of chocolate, steepable. I don't think we have chocolate, I think we're gonna have to buy chocolate. Steepable grains, uh, so container of chocolate. Uh, yeah, I had steepable. Uh, so chocolate grains. Um, F1. Ingredients, steepable grains, crystal malt. There we go, chocolate steepable. Add to cart. Did I just buy it like that? Okay, sweet. Delivery. Grab that. Oh, we got a brewmaster magnet. Can we slap that magnet on here? Hold on, let's see. This is stainless steel. Stainless steel is non-ferrous, so we wouldn't be able to put it on here. I'm assuming that's stainless. If we can put a magnet on here, this is not stainless, and I'll be pissed. Uh, open menu. Oh. There it is. We slapped it on there. I'm upset. I'm upset. This is a ferrous metal. That's gonna rust. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> uh, wait, what did I miss? Did I did y'all break taco? Why? What happened? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was I was doing all sorts of things, so I didn't read chat. I hope you guys have been having a conversation with yourselves. Next beer is Uwu. Oh, that's actually a good name. The Uwu Nippa. <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll name it that. We'll name it that. Okay, if it turns out, we'll name it that. Uh, the mo uh, most I know about beer is from my dad. He liked darker beers. Everything else, uh, rock gut beer. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it's actually getting to be that time of year for darker beers for me. Oh, God, now I have taco on my head uh, saying ooh, ooh into my mic, and I'm 100% sure that we need uh, needed at least five takers uh <laughs> wait what at least five takers for his now that last part confused me but <laughs> good i want you to have the ooh. wait is this filling up oh i'm in build, build mode duh yeah uh so we want yeah we're gonna speed up time a little bit get that filled up we're gonna put more than 20. We're gonna put 22 in here again. 22 is that hot point. We we boil off. Oh shit! Too much. Um. Ah, disconnect. There we go. Slap that. There we 
That away. Pick this up. We run with 22.81. We stick with it. Now we're going to pour a little bit out. We're going to pour a little bit. I think we're not going to boil off that much. There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. All right. So we need to put in... We need to grab our malt extract. Or our steepable grains. So we're going to have to put that in too, right? So we got water. Add malt extract, brew container, then we then add steepable grains. And then we boil. Okay, so we need our steepable grains. Which is the chocolate. Shit, how much were we supposed to get? Uh, 100 grams. There we go. Um, so three of this. All this is going in. Okay. Stop pouring. And then we need 600 of this. No! Oh, God dang it. Did it again. Go ahead and place that in there. And you will E4. 600 of this. Not bad. Place this back in the fridge. Throw this one away. Boom. And then that's done. And we'll speed up time a little bit. And that's to get to 100C. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure we have a it for our screaming. Ooh, ooh getting sweet, uh, putting the uh, effort into Victoria. Victoria died nice, did nice uh, ASMR style. Oh my God, uh, in the kitchen fixing malto meal, and I could hear coming from the bedroom was ooh, ooh over and over again. <laughs> Got an emergency services call. So I got to go. Oh, okay, take it easy, Dylan. Thank you for stopping in. I'm sure you dipped out already, but yeah, take it easy. Stay safe. Thank you for stopping in 100%. Um, be careful, yes. Takes taco. Oh, my God. Takes. Oh, taco. 1,000 square... 1,800 1, square feet all over again. Shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> She gets so mad. She gets so mad because I misread a lot. I misread and miss say things a lot and misunderstand things a lot. And she gets so upset. And it makes me day. <laughs> the, the way things are poured in this gives me anxiety. That's you're going to miss the container and you're pouring into. Yeah, I know. It, it does. I, I, me too. It looks like it's dripping. It's about to drip off the side. Um. Oh my God, people, why aren't you telling people to like? That is a good question. That is a good question. Victoria, why aren't you doing your job? Remember why I modded you? Because you had one job to do. And that was to remind people to smash that like button and help this channel out. It's free. Thank you very much. <laughs> let's get this to 100. Oh, what do we got to do next after 100? Actually, before we do that, let's get things ready for the um, add steeping grains, which we did. Heat wort until 100. Remove steeping grains. Brew container chalk. Wait, okay, hold on. Did we add? No, we didn't. Remove. Okay, remove steeping grains. Uh, add hops to boil for 50 minutes. Okay, so we need... Uh, uh, and Huntsman Light. So we need to buy some hops.
Ingredients. Pops. Oh no, that's hops. And Huntsman Flight. Don't know what they fall under. That's not it. Do we have Huntsman Flight already? I don't think so. There they are. There it is. So that's a Cascadian hop. Okay. We just don't have this stuff ready, right? Grab those out. So we need, what, 60? And 60. Wait a minute. Add hops to the boil for... Oh, no, no, that's where we're moving. Okay. Um, so we're going to do 20 and then 60. Where are they at? There it is. Um, so we need 60 of this. We have infinite of that? Oh, oh yeah, we have infinite of all this stuff. 20 of that. Yeah. Store that. Then we'll get up to temperature. So we get up to temperature. Um, remove steeping grains. <clears throat> Olaf, welcome back. I just like how I sung that. that was, I hit I hit that note. Spot on. 39 likes. 40 now since apparently. Yes. Let's go. When you hit the like button yesterday, it doesn't count today. Silly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's every video. Every individual video needs its own like. Thank you. If you want to go through all my videos, smash that like button. <laughs> Look at Wiseman jumping in with hmm cat. I love that hmm cat. Favorite. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I said we're done. Stop it. Um, throw that away, and then we slap this in. And we steep this. Uh, remove steeping grains. Hops for 50 minutes. So we're at 35 right now. So we need to be at 25. So 625. Um, no, I did like this one. Well, I restarted, but apparently it did not count. I bet it's Victoria doing Olaf. She's doing, been mean to really leave, Nick, leave Victoria alone or uh, out of this, <laughs> off this, of this, what? Already did taco. Uh, thanks, William. Out. Out. Yeah, okay, you fixed that. <laughs> out of this. Okay. <laughs> I see. You You missed the out. Wait, she did that. Nate. Uh, might want to roll the... Okay, you guys are all having conversation to yourselves. Perfect. I'll, that's perfect. You can leave me to my gaming. And then another 10 minutes. Add up to the boil for 10 minutes. Huntsman flight. Um, that'll put us at 635 because we put in a little early there. I blame Taco. Yes, Lanza. Toria is usually an angel. No, not a thing. Never a thing. Wait, he said Wiseman instead of Dumbs Dumbsman. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> yeah, mind your business, Taco. <laughs> Excuse me for reading chat. I I'll just I'll just jump back into game here. Uh, let's get the fermenter ready. And uh, what yeast do we need?
Uh, North American Ale, which I think we have, right? No, we have SoCal. So is there one actually called North American Ale? Let's take a look. Yep, North American Ale one. Okay. So which one do we need? The one or two? Um, how do we see our recipe? Here it is. North American Ale one. Okay. Can I buy that? I can buy it right here. Oh, I forgot. We can just go to the recipe and buy direct. That makes life a lot easier. Duh, chat. Duh. Uwu take over. What is that? Are we being raided by another Uwu nation? <laughs> is that a or is it, are we talking tap takeover? You ever been into a tap takeover? <clears throat> I've been to a founders one when KBS was huge. Now KBS is bottled like, everywhere. Is you can get it. It's on the shelves all the time. All we need to do is get rid of Olaf, and we can overthrow him and take control. Talk like that is will get you a mega ban. Nobody take nobody gets rid of my Olaf. Nobody gets rid of my Olaf. Party Pooper Olaf? No, they don't call it as Party Starter Olaf. He's 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 like the yeast starter that I was explaining to you all. You know the the the, the micro the mini brew, the you know the yeast starter Olaf. That's what we call him. Which I don't know if that's the name he wants either. Yeast starter Olaf. <laughs> Sorry, Olaf. Uh, let's see. We're not there. We're not there. Um. Turn that off. Get this down to 20. <clears throat> I'll flip table swing hammers. <laughs> Lance, I would, pr yes, mullet will protect Olaf. It's becoming daylight. Daylight. I'm telling you right now, work does not chill this slow. And you don't have to chill it. Well, you don't have to chill it down. I don't know what 20 equals in, in comparison to, to freedom units. Holy shit, we forgot to add water. We lost a lot of water. Shit. Our batch is too small, chat. I think our batch is too small. I forgot to add water. We weren't paying attention to the batch size. Shoot. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. The last one said low when we dumped it, right? Oh my god, 16. Seventeenth uh, yeah, we're quite we're quite low. Shoot. Damn it. Chat, you screwed it up again. Cause we can't add water now, because you have to add water and boil. You can't just well you can. It has to be sterile water. So do we want to add water now and just take risk it for the biscuit? 
Do we add water now and risk it? Oh god, why is C being spammed? 20C equals CF. Uh, okay, 60AF. Thank you. We're gonna add some water. Screw it. It is a thing, but you want sterile water. You want to make sure it's sterile. So normally you would boil it. Boil the water first and make sure it is sterile. But we'll, we'll, we'll add water to it. Screw it. Hopefully this doesn't lower our... our contamination... or raise our contamination and lower our bittering. Oh, we got to pitch our yeast yet. Um, move hops, chilled wort, transferred, add yeast, northern ale one. Uh, I can't spell ever, so don't feel bad. I just, uh, I can't read, so if you spell wrong, I won't even notice, so. <laughs> I can't read it if you spell it right. At least you always point that out. All right, remember what I said? You want to oxygenate it as soon as you pitch your yeast. Normally, you'd use an oxygenating stone. You'd pump air clean air into it you know the first 24 hours you want to get oxygen because that helps attenuate get that party rocking in there so we're shaking it up <laughs> hope i'm making y'all dizzy as hell <laughs> all right um we want to ferment for 15 days Bye, everyone. Lance, stay, thank you for stopping in. Take it easy. Have a good day. Stay stay safe. Have a great day. Uh, Not on the first date, Lance. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I love jumping in. Like, Fisk always feels bad when he jumps in in the middle of a conversation. He always, he's like, man, I always feel like I'm interrupting things. I love it because it's like I feel like I'm peeping Tom on, on, on conversations. <laughs> Taco trying to give us, us, yeah, trying to get, get you guys all to you know, be like, what the fuck? All right, we need to transfer. Wait, so we add sugar, 160. Um, actually, what's the um uh recipe? What was our goal here? Actually, no. What was our the job? Did they have any IBU specification? Or no, they had IBU specification, but they didn't have. So we want to try to hit 30. But for the story, are we supposed to try to get something? I don't know. 40, 41 for the actual style. If we don't hit style, it's not a big deal because neither one of these. So our IBU's main goal is 30, at least. Even for the story. Um. It's just an IPA, which we're doing the IPA. So we're going to achieve that no matter what. But then our goal is to at least 30 IBUs. But it has nothing about carbonation on this one. Um, other than recipe, which we're not necessarily trying to make style. We're not trying to meet style at all. Other than IPA, which is done. So perfect. Okay. So 160 of this. Yeah, well, a little more for good measure. Oop. Put that away. Put the lid on that for right now. We need the carbonation bucket. No, not the fermenter. We need a carbonation bucket. 
and uh, lid off of that. See, one thing they don't have is like all the sanitation that goes and in, gets involved in brewing. You'd be like using star sand, PBW, you know, cleaning the shit. There's a lot of cleaning involved when it comes to brewing. A lot of cleaning involved. Because you, like I said, you don't want contamination. that lid so we get better flow uh don't threaten us with a good time olaf is olaf threatened with a good time yes olaf is known for that i need to head out too need to go go get groceries don't know if you're alive want to get back take care take it take it easy stay safe olaf give me something good pick me up some good food uh ask it does a trunk have a pill uh, asking for a friend <laughs> peas <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I call him Peas because he likes the name. He's actually—I suggest you change the name to Peas, like Can of Peas, Can of Peas Unleashed, <clears throat> or Crazy Peas. <laughs> Don't threaten us with time, Olaf. Uh, we're back, husband awake. Got to make him food. Oh, good. Give, give, give the that 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 two, that two monster a big old kiss from me. <clears throat> Those of you who don't know, Mullet's uh, husband is a tattoo artist amazing work he does a lot he does like uh portrait stuff he's a very talented dude very very talented dude uh it's a good spot to tip touch oh my god victoria is the worst victoria is it, it like booster said chat can be quite adult <laughs> And it's Victoria. She starts it all. Starts it every time. What you making? What am I making? Or what's what, what, who are we talking to here? Because like I said, I am jumping in in the middle of chat. Uh, can we have a beer called a Brubu? Brubu Nation? Actually, that's not. That's actually even better. A, a better name, Sai. Because if we were going to name this uh, Uwu Nippa um, for Uwu New England Style IPA. But... Brew uh Brew Nation Nippa works. So B N N I P A would be the abbreviated form of that. B N N I P A. I like that. Brew Nation Nippa. Even though I freaking oh my god. I'm saying uwu like it's all like naturally flowing off my tongue now. And I'm I'm not liking this at all. Uh Nurse Wonders Me America. I'm American, so I understand the importance of tipping. Oh my god. <laughs> that's awesome i love tattoos except getting them uh yeah i've i have i haven't gotten a new tattoo in years i mean I, my, my last tattoo i have i don't even know nine ten I don't know. um i haven't got one in shit I, 15 16 years they're, they're all old um i need to get a couple of them filled in and touched up i want to add some too but i need to add to one of them Add the other kids initials to it and stuff uh, now our chance to take over ooze. Uh, now Olaf is at, or Mol they're, that's right they're not even here and yeah the worst oh Mullet's here Mullet's here nice yes you're back Mullet I has hot pocket <laughs> hot pocket those of you those of you know know where I'm getting at with that hot pocket uh, go forth the ooh nation or uh, minions I have food. I cannot march without you woos. Oh, oh my god. You guys are all horrible. Freaking play on words. I have never had a tattoo before. I'm too scared. Wait, what? You don't have a tattoo mullet? You you have a mullet, but you don't have a tattoo. And you're married tattoo to a tattoo artist. <laughs> really? I did not realize that. Or are you joking? I guess I never paid attention. You you post you post like videos of you yelling beef, but I never really paid attention. Um, I bet Taco has a uh, barbed wire around his bicep. <laughs> no, I do not. Oh God, no, I do not have barbed wire around. Yes, it's a barbed wire with a feather hanging from it. Good God, no. You know the cliche tattoos. No. Uh, I'm lying. I have like eight. Whatever number that is. Okay, I thought so. I figured as much. Oh, Taco. Oh my God, Victoria's now. No, ta 
So you got Victoria. She's like, oh my god, you fell for that. You're such a gobo. So gobo. Where's the beef? <laughs> I can't scream it. I can't scream right now. My wife's in, my wife's working, so I can't I can't start yelling. Uh, Mullet, once you get one, a little, like another addiction. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, it is. It's very addicting. It's very addicting. Um, how are we doing? Oh, we're almost empty. All right, we'll speed this up and get this transferred over. All right. Eh. Come on, tube. Why can't I grab the tube? Detach tube. B. Did we put the sugar? Yeah, we put the sugar in. I almost... I thought we didn't put the sugar in there for a second. Um, That back. Pick this up. Clean it. Put that back. Pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. Shake it up. Force that carbonation in there. <laughs> oh, get that yeast going. Um, let's see. We did that. We did that. Condition for 21 days. Veinte y uno. Hey Taco, I uh, I hear if you look on the can uh, ceiling, you can see the world globally up there. What? <laughs> oh, only look up. Steve Adeptus, welcome in, welcome in. Taco is a teardrop has a teardrop. <laughs> yes, because I've <laughs> I've known. Yes, it's, it's my I have my prison tat, my teardrop tat. Ah. <sighs> I, I have I have two of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> if that so, you be scared. All right, let's taste test this. See if we let's see if we accomplished what we we're going for. I have thirteen. Need to get more. They are very addicting, right? How did we do? SRM mid range, so it's it is hazy. Carbonation two point three two. Uh, batch size small, 19.1 liters, extremely hazy. Yes, so we achieved the extremely hazy part. Slightly malty, salty, and sweet. Uh, let's see, so we're in the malty and sweet area. Not very bitter. Shit. I'm, I'm a little worried here. I'm a little worried here. 4.9. ABV. We're good on ABV. Decent. Bitterness, 44.6. Let's go. We did it. We hit it. We hit it. All right. Uh, a little bit. Not very much contamination. Final gravity. So uh, we started 1.79, 1.19. So we hit our ABV of this. Like Once again, you do an equation. You divide, subtract this and that divert difference and do some mathematical math, math, equation. And that gives you this. Body, very heavy. Sweet. I think we may have hit. 81% on style match. Damn, chat. Look at us go. Double star. Freaking, we're getting good at this. We're getting good at this. Even though the last beer did not turn out well. We named it af after... Um, uh, who did we name it after? I forget already. <laughs> I forget. Steve. Right? A different Steve. Didn't we? I don't remember. Shit. I feel bad because it was uh, from a dono. <laughs> but this one's going to be the Ubu. The, what, 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 what are we going to name this again? I forget. Brew Wu. Uh, Brew Woo Nation, New England style IPA. Yeah, New England IPA, right? That's what we're going to do. Um, damn, though, look at this. We did good with this one. Continue. Um, we're going to submit. Well, we don't want to submit yet. We got to do the name. Um, so it is Brew. Oh, no. We're going to spell it like this Brew Woo Nation. Nippa. So B N N I P A. New England style. We're leaving that. Belgian. We don't have any more choices yet. Uh, this. Well, New England style. Sometimes you don't do the I P A glass. See how it has the ripples. Um. A lot of times in New England styles, you drink out of a tulip, or you get they get served in a tulip or just standard pint. 
I've noticed. Um, but we'll, we'll do the IPA glass just, you know, because it is an IPA still. Label maker. Label. Do we go to Hop Leafs because we're, we're straight up? Or uh, what do we want to do for the, ooh, I, you know. Yeah, we'll do the Hop Leafs. Um. Okay, so that's that. We'll leave that down there. We're not going to do much of this, like, dinking around with the... What's gradient? Either way, we're not doing much of that. Um, uh, Ruru, we want the, to stand out. So, beer style, text, beer name. We want that bigger. Scale. Can't believe we have this. Can't believe I've freaking grown accustomed to your guys's idiocy of uwu <laughs> brew woo nippa yep imagine us seeing this on the shelf i'd be like oh my god what a what a weeb <laughs> if i saw this on a shelf somewhere i would definitely buy it and i'd be yelling what a weeb submit beer Available jobs. So, so does this help us with the story? That's just the question. We hit we hit the bonus, so we made some money. Uh, we also get this a magnet marked the garden. Yes, so we get another magnet too, that sticks to our non-ferrous refrigerator, which makes no sense. But then again, a lot of things do stick to. Uh, uh, it doesn't necessarily stick to the. Um, stainless steel a lot of times there's ferrous metal behind that structurally it's better you know makes so or they they put a thin layer so you can use magnets on stainless steel they put a thin layer of ferrous metal behind it on like certain areas um Woo! achievement unlocked pristine brew let's go look at that slap this up you know what we're gonna slap this one Right there, just to remind us. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but yeah, right there. No, I want it dead center. Get it dead center? There we go, look at that. Eh, eh, I wanna jump, but it won't let you jump. Can, wait, could we put one on the shelf here? We tried, did we try? I think we tried, yeah, I think we did try. Now nah, we'll slap it down here with the other ones, cause that's our achievement. So we're gonna actually pull the tip touchers one. We're gonna pull one of the tip touchers one. Because we made, because this is kind of keeping track of what beers we made. So we'll do this. Um, yeah, it doesn't let us pull. Yeah, it is what it unstow. Okay. What did we get? Oh, that's not what we wanted. The magnet. So did we get complete? Yes, brew beer in the category so we hit it wait until next season so we'll see what's up with the next season let's we'll slap this other magnet on this refrigerator uh h o magneto slap that right underneath it boom look at us we're decorators we're interior decorators cleaning equipment what we can do with that uh, let me catch up a chat real quick. Man, I only ha have four. I uh, missed it. <laughs> it rolled out. Uh, oh, we'll leave that. Yeah, it's, yeah, I try to tab out, but God, it, it, things are kind of jacked up ever since the last game. Uh, press C is like pressing a metric tyrant button. <laughs> I, it is. It is. Don't bring. Don't even bring the letter C up in chat because then chat just spams the crap out of it. Or I'm not going to say why because they're filthy animals. You all are filthy animals. Um, does the style of glass actually do anything for a beer? Yes, it does. Itself, yes, it does. Um, so some beers, you know, require a little more, you know, to release the carbonation more. Like an IPA, you want to release a lot of carbonation right up front because um, it brings out a lot more in the mouthfeel. So that uh, IPA style glass with all the ripples on the bottom, um, 
releases as you pour, releases the carbonation fast. Because you're gonna d generally drink an IPA faster than you would a stout. A stout is more of a sipping beer. So a lot of times with a stout, I'll drink it out of a tulip and stuff. But there's a, there's a lot more aroma. Uh, well, actually like bolder aromas, like more fruity aromas and stuff from a stout as well. Or cho and chocolate flavors, which get released better from like a tulip style glass or a wide mouth glass. So yeah, it, it, the style of glass does come into play. Um, but it depends how, beer, how much of a beer snob you want to be at that time. I drink out of a pint glass 90% of the time, so don't get me wrong. I mean, I have all the a bunch of different styles of glasses, but if I'm drinking a real expensive beer, like my buddies will go out and they'll spend hundred dollars, hundred and some dollars for a single bottle of beer, or single can even sometimes. So when we drink those, well, a lot of times we're drinking them out of little tasters because we're sharing it. But if I have an expensive beer, if I have a forty dollar beer, um, and I'm just drinking it between two of us, I'll pour it in two tulips or whatever, or the two proper style glasses, just for the sake of, you know, the money spent. We're gonna we're gonna honor that beer the best we can, right? Taco does not drink beer. Yeah, sorry to say, but I've never had a beer in my life. Uh, what makes you think he does? <laughs> so I hope that made sense. So yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, so I mean, my everyday beer, my everyday craft beers that I'm drinking, a lot of times I'm just drinking them out of a, a, a pint glass, generic pint glass. I have a million of them. We get them from breweries all the time. Um, they're easy collectible items. Uh, but they're taking up space. So I've actually switched my collection. I'm going to start trying to get like uh, uh, pipes. I'm getting into like smoking a pipe occasionally. Um, I, I got into it last year. I actually got into it by watching uh, uh, The Hobbit. <laughs> watching Gandalf clean his long ass pipe. It was so ASMR to me. Listening to that and just watching him clean it and then look at it, blow on it, suck on it, and then cleaned it a little bit more, looked at it again. And then him and uh, um, uh, Frodo looked at each other. Oh, no, was it, was it Frodo? No, it was, uh, uh, was it? yeah, it was Frodo, I think. They looked at each other and they laughed or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want that in my life. I want that. So I told my wife that I wanted to get into smoking a pipe. So my, my, my oldest had bought me a pipe set, pipe kit. And then uh, I have a few random other pipes now, but I want to start collecting pipes. Because you can spend anywhere from thousands of dollars to $20 for a single pipe. Um, Mexican Nate, what's up? Who, 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 Ugh. So should I grill Asian or Mexican style chicken chat? Uh, yeah, Mexican. If it's a choice between I, I, Mexican and Asian to me, I'm always going Mexican style, but my family likes Asian as well. So I, you know, we can switch it up. But if, if it was ever up to me, it'd always be Mexican. Um, you drink beer out of floral or flowers taco. <laughs> I drink beer out of flat <laughs> drink. My IPA is from a tulip. Oh, yes. <laughs> from tulips. And, and, you know, that's perfectly fine, too. If you have a tulip glass, you can drink your IPA out of it. Some IPAs actually work well out of a tulip glass. Anyways. And, and for the most part, if you're at a if you're at a brew pub, they will know the style of glass. And they'll serve out of... They, they usually have three or four styles of glasses that they'll serve out of. Today's a holiday here and nothing, it, nothing is open. Damn it. Sorry, Hobbs. Well, welcome in, too, by the way, Hobbs. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Jeez, didn't realize beer went up that high. Oh God, beer can get so expensive. Uh, like Dark Lord, Dark Lord's Day, that that beer, you know, the beer, um, that beer, whew, can get way up there. Um, like I said, I was saying yesterday, I was telling um, Fisk, I spent thirty five dollars for a four pack of uh, some smoothie beers when I was in Chicago. That's a four pack of beer I spent spent thirty five bucks on. And that's, that's, you know, that's expensive, but that's not outrageous. Uh, but there's a lot that goes into those smoothie beers. There's a lot, a lot that it go, gets involved in those. So they're more expensive, but they're so damn good. So damn good. Bilbo. Yes, it, uh, you know, I said Frodo, didn't I? It was Bilbo. Because they were sitting on top of... Okay, so it was the Hobbit. It was the last... Um, uh, what's the third Hobbit movie called? Um, they're sitting on uh, the mountaintop at the waterfall. Frozen waterfall, right? And they're sitting there, kind of laughing a little bit. They're somber. It's a somber moment uh, because the king had just died. Dwarf king just died. But the, they were. Um, uh, it was that moment though. It, I was like, I, I need, I need a pipe in my life. So yeah, I forgive me. I'm bad with names. I'm bad. I'm good at remembering context. I'm bad remembering details. So I 
you know, I'm horrible when it comes to names of movies, people, um, but context wise, I can remember a lot of shit. I'm from Canada. You're from Canada. I, oh my God. I said that out loud. I'm not from Canada. Shit. Do, oh my God. Somebody's going to clip that shit and they're going to play it. I'm not from Canada. <laughs> God dang it. I read Hobbs thing out loud. Oh, Taco is Canadian. I am not. Stop it. Stop it. I think tulips are really up the nose. Uh, yeah, tulips do help the nose because what they do is a, a tulip shape helps release the aromatics of a beer inside of the glass, but then it fork it, uh, fo forkuses it. It focuses it down into the tulip. You know, that's how it closes back off a little bit. So it focuses it down, um, back down so it, you can you can focus that the aromatics up into the nose some more. That's what's great about uh, Bourbon County beers can reach a few hundred. Yes, they can. They can. They can. Beer is uh can be like a like a a good wine, and they age. Some of the beers age really really well. So eight, some beers will age. You know they'll be best after like three years. They'll say like uh, um, Dogfish is uh 120 ages really well. A lot a lot of the hop characteristics drop out, but there's so much in there. It a new ones appear. Other flavors appear from those hops dropping out. I've never seen a single one of those movies, really. I'm unmodded. Unmodded. How dare you? <laughs> I was waiting for that taco. Oh my god. You saw it and you waited. Make a clip. No, do not. It's not a thing. Stop it. <laughs> Made it back. Just had to relight a gas water heater uh, that got blown uh, blown out by the storm. Okay, well, I'm glad you made it back, Dylan. Thank you for joining me again. Glad that everything went well. Uh, make a, Do not make a clip. Spam his Discord with it. Stop it. Do not spam the Discord. Do not spam. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you get spam, if you spam the Discord, it will. Um, you will get timed out or uh, get warned by Olaf or or um, or Fab. So yeah, don't spam the Discord. Um, uh, I mean, you're more welcome to you know make fun of me or whatever in there, but yeah, just don't spam anything because you will get you will get warned. Just FYI, <laughs> um, because we don't want to drown other people out. That's the thing. Uh, the Discord is for everybody to communicate, including other members that aren't part of the stream right now. So yeah, don't spam it because uh, you will drown their their marks that may not have been seen yet, and that that's the whole reason. Uh, Olaf will scold you, Olaf or Fab. <laughs> they will they will let you know please do they will they more abrupt but please do not spam and please read the rules is what it what will be what will be stated <laughs> oh shit let's let's, see, let's take a look let's see because we wait so we hit wait so we accomplished both jobs today we accomplished both of these completed completed let's go and we hit our story today I'm stoked. We did we did a thing. We did three things today. And we failed a beer because chat hid the sugar on me. We got a new box. This should help with uh, your first all grain brew. Hope it serves you as well as it did me. Oh, so it's fucking used? He's given us our his used mash ton? What? I want it new, thank you. you oh my god, you clipped it, Victoria. I'm not even clicking on that. I'm not even clicking on that. Nope, I refuse. Oh my god, and I see a message taco just popped up. You're all banned. Banning you all. Banning you all. Picnic cooler. So a small mash ton. For, so uh, 25 liter capacity. So the next stream, we'll be able to jump into an all grain mash, which will be fun. I'll be able to show you guys the, the, that process. So actually, the game should, the, as, as ex explanatory as the game has been, we should be able to ex you know, teach you that aspect too. But like I said, once I end stream today, I'm going to reach out to the devs and find out uh, why I'm not seeing the promotional stuff, the the, the partnerships with uh, the, with uh, Untapped and more beer and stuff, because I should be have, seeing that stuff. And I'd love, because I have an Untapped account uh, and a Beer Advocate account, I'd love to be able to... Uh, link them up with the game so I get like a bonus thing because I'm awesome. <laughs> Retrieve. Sweet. Look at it. It's my mash ton. It's got a sticker on it. 
Brew on! Let's snap it up here. We take a look at it. That there. Um, wish you were beer. Uh, <laughs> there's another wish you were beer. Brew on. Slapped another sticker over time. It's all scratched up. Dude, he gave us all, he gave us our cra his crappy mash ton that he hates. That's what happened. Big old drink, 4.5%. Uh, and that's it. Brew on. So there's no other stickers other than they repeated a bunch of stickers. Cool. So we eat. let's take a look. Let's take a look at the magazine. This, is this season's magazine. It's time for the next vital step in your journey brewing. Uh, all grain brew steps. You know, wait, we should be reading this next stream. But it's too late now. We already picked it up. All your brews replete uh, malt extracts with, you guessed it, grains. And in so doing up a vast new world of flavors, combination of uh, mouth-watering beer styles. Believe me, once you go all grain, you never go back. Oh, you filthy animals. I can't believe you went there. I can't believe you went there, Jeff. You are filthy, filthy-minded animal. Uh, I've sent you a package container, trusty uh, companion to all home brewers. Uh, uh, repurposed to picnic cool. Yeah, I noticed it's repurposed. It's all scratched up, marred up, beat up. Uh, this will serve you uh, uh, as your mash ton used in all grain recipes to get sugar out of the grains. You essentially be making your own extract now. So instead of using all uh, the extract that we grabbed out of the fridge, we will be using... And you still can put some of that stuff in there, but uh, you yeah, you will be making that. You'll find a couple of all grain recipes in the latest issue of uh, the quarterly to get started. Let's get mashing. Yeah. See, there's no clicking. Uh, each tub comes with its own set of requirements. See, why are we still seeing the tutorial? Maybe I have to disable tutorial now. Um, I mean, we can track one or the other. Okay, so we can alternate back and forth. That's good. Batch size small grain. Da, 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 da. So we, we're not going to read it. We're going to dive into all this. Yep. We're going to dive into this. The next stream. We did good. We did good chat. Let's see. How much money we got? 135. We can buy more stuff now. We can spend it. What's available? Anything new available? Ooh. Micro pump. Now we can transfer easier. Much faster, too. Let's go. Oh, burner. Portable gas burner. Medium. This is kind of what I have right here. Like that. And then there's, there's multiple jets that shoot up to evenly heat up the base of this it's it, it works so good so good versus a single a single flame which heats up in the center on the bottom of this it would it heats up all around so good do we get any new cosmetic items Not that i'm seeing oh wait yes we did i think all this yeah we did so there's that bottle opener magnet I'm still not seeing any Christmas stuff. Okay, so we did. We unlocked some stuff. Sweet. Maybe we'll have to do some decorating uh, next stream as well. Oh, cool. Let's uh, let's jump into um, let's jump. We'll, we'll go to the bar. I don't know if if if, if you're get, getting here. I don't know if you saw my op my new opening. Um, this will be my new opener when, when, when I'm getting things around, just FYI. Um, let me, let me exit out of game here. The desktop. Oops. Exit the desktop. Confirm. Uh, but yeah, this is my new opener and I'm contemplating what I want to do on, uh, the image because that's a picture that I, or that's the thing that I threw in there. The artwork, uh, I put together. Well, I didn't design that. There's an artist that I found online and, uh, and then I utilized some gifts after that. Um, creepy as hell and i love it but i think i might actually have chat your guys's chat scroll on the image in the background um so do i have do i have chat box no i don't so starting soon art taco art no i should be able to show you what it would be like but i i, I would have to resize it um so it's this add source I'll have to resize it and everything, but, um, let's hide. Oh, do, 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 do,
do do need to hide that one. So yeah, chat would be fallen inside that image there. I don't know why it's not popping up yet. Maybe oh you guys aren't talking typing. There it goes. Now it's starting to pop up. So I, yeah, I'll have to go through and resize it. That artwork makes me feel crazy. I know it is it is nuts, right? So I think I, I might end up doing this, resizing chat, and then having chat just scroll up. So these people are just sitting there watching chat, and that'll be the artwork playing in the background. But uh, those hands hitting his face is is a metaphor for <laughs> nation and taco like a ton of bricks. Yes, that's kind of what it feels like, right? Cozy, damn it, taco. Is this cozy? What? Co what? Cozy, cozy. What? What's cozy? Wait, wait. Did I say something wrong? Did I read something wrong? Oh, cozy. That artwork is making me feel cozy. <laughs> making me feel crazy, I said, right? Okay. So, stop it. Stop it. I, you, you know how I do things. Damn it, Taco. She's screaming at me. They're both screaming at me now. Both. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be... I think that's going to be my opening scene, right? there the starting soon but I'll, fi I'll i'll fix the sizing of chat and i'll put it on a black background so you guys can read it better just like i have with my uh ending um like i can see it there but you can't really read it because it's pretty small I mean, maybe you can i don't know because it's probably bigger on your screen but uh yeah that's the plan that's the plan and and we, we won't have to, you know, and then i'll be able to get ready with the starting soon you know i don't have to utilize that anymore i'll just have that scene open and then when i switch scenes we'll be good uh, there's a few hundred geese flying south. All my hunter neighbors are in the U.S. Get ready. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have a pond. And uh, so I tried to keep them out of that. Um, okay, everyone. Be nice because I am about to be covered raw chicken juice. <laughs> Won't be able to troll much. Oh, talk. Oh, my God. Victoria is always upset. Always upset with me. Look at the gorgeous freedom chicken right freaking ka freaking ka oh not wrong thing ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka. freedom chicken <laughs> so disturbing what's disturbing you like my leg you, you see i told you i told you i look good in skinny jeans look at my legs that's how much I work out. I, I'm looking good. Oh my God, my video was three minutes lagged. Oh, was it really? That The painting, laugh out loud. Oh, so you were well behind. You were far behind then. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's at that live button. Sometimes it, yeah, it falls behind. The, the, buffering, the buffering on my end. So it makes you guys fall behind on your end. So I apologize. If you're not live, hit that live button on the bar. Hit that live it, it won't be highlighted red when you hover over the screen uh, and that'll fix it. Or just hit refresh. Quite the set of uh, gams <laughs> you've got there for sure. Yes. Yeah, I've been work. I, I work out. I work out. I do. I never skip leg day. Every day is leg day, actually. And it is. It is. I mean, there is a, a, a dedicated leg day as well, but every day is freaking leg day. In the workouts that I do, um, and that's the truth. They hurt, especially uh, when I'm uh, doing the weightlifting workout. That leg day is sucky. Um, but between Tabata and then uh, hit, and yeah, that's, yeah, that's just, just a lot. I'm not reading that part. Taco in a pair of stockings. <laughs> William, mm, yeah, you, you better watch out. Olaf will ban you. I, if, if, William, listen, if Olaf catches you flirting me like that, he will ban you. <laughs> My boss called, so I, I paused and forgot to refresh. All good, all good, all good. Like I said, IRL always. IRL always. Um, the best way to get gains is to work legs first, and then move on. <laughs> well, I mean, to work it all, right? You, the, to just work through it all. I'm not trying to get... I'm not trying to be beef up or anything like that. I'm just trying to stay healthy. At this point in my life, I'm 44 years old. I just want to make sure I keep my cholesterol down and uh, my fitness up. You know, I'm just, you know, it's more cardio, um, some weights. You know, I like to, you know, 
have a sort of six pack. I don't really have a six pack because I drink too much beer. And I eat. Un I don't eat healthy enough. In order to maintain a six pack, you have to you have to be on point with your with your food intake, and that's not me. So, but uh, yeah, just maintain a you know healthy body, healthy mind type thing. That's that's key. Key for longevity, right? I, you know, I, my my grandfather died or all my most of my grandparents died early, or young when i was young and uh, i want my my kids to remember their grandparents and you know i want my and their kids to remember me so you know it's like i'm on my dad's case always always to stay healthy and all that so make sure you wear your ankle weights so you don't wobble like uh, what was that psych that uh, tv show psych there's that one dude that um was uh chasing yin around yin yang but they caught Yang and the, they need, they're chasing Yin. Um, that knew all about Yin. Uh, he, he wore ank, wink, ankle, yank, yankle winks. Oh, I, spit, I sound like Olaf there. <laughs> Welcome back, Lance. Uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll fight over my man. Any, wait, I'm your man now, William? What the heck? What happened here? Uh, the fittest taco. Taco, stop bragging. You're. With your perfect life, it's far from perfect. I mean, nobody has a perfect life, right? It's <laughs> your perfect life. Is that what you think of? Is that what you picture when you think of what's Taco doing now? Just living the lavish lifestyle. <laughs> Just balance resistance and cardio and you'll be fine. That's what I do. It is. It's resistance and car cardio balance, right? And right now, like, so I, I was falling back on my cardio. I was doing a lot of weights over the summer and uh, then I went and did, and I, I stopped running for a couple months and then I did, because I was running a 5k a few times a week and uh, I, 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 I ran a fi my 5k, which is basically, we live a, a, um, an, on one mile blocks out here in the country. So I ran down a couple, a couple quarter corners down and then ran home. That's a 5k right there and uh, I was really slow. And it sucked. It sucked. I ran with my daughter and I was able to beat her, which is a task in, in hand. Um, the one mile, but God, that five or that 5K sucked. I was dying. I actually ended up stopping at the two and a half mile mark and walked a short distance and then picked back up and finished it off. And I normally don't have to do that. And that sucked. So I was like, God, I got to get back into cardio. So um, I switched up. I'm doing my workout. I'm doing weights one week and then I rotate back to more of a, a hit Tabata and then I go back to weights, which is also hit and weights, but it, it's more focused on the weight aspect. So that's where I lost a lot of that. Um, 44, ugh, I'm going on 48 next month. Oh, good, dude. You're as young as you feel and act. Don't worry about age. Age is no big deal. Age, I mean, a, a certain ages, you got to pay more attention to certain health aspects, right? But I'll be 13 next month. No, dude, Victoria, don't say that. You're not, you, um, uh, I know that's not true, but you have to be careful. Uh, it, if, especially in Twitch, if anybody, we usually try to stay away from ages because people are even joking if they put down they're younger than the 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 required age for the channel. Like YouTube and Twitch are both the same, thirteen years old. Um, you have to be thirteen or older. Uh, There's just you just ban them instantly. Uh, that was the requir that's a requirement as a streamer. So just FYI, don't yeah, don't make that joke. As as funny as it may be, and I know because I know you're older than that, but uh, uh, you can get banned from channels just simply by po putting that. Just FYI. Um, is that in Celsius? <laughs> yeah, too young to even be in chat. No, it does too young to mod. Is too young to even be in chat. That's the require. That's the requirements. YouTube requirements, and that's my responsibility as a streamer that I sign off with, with YouTube. So just FYI, just, yeah, um, somebody can ban you. And, you know, and I know you're joking, but uh, yeah. So just be careful when you joke that. Like that. And also it, it promotes other younger people to say that. And you don't want that, you know, viewers and viewers. And if they're behaving or just they're lurking, then, you know, perfect. Hey, at least you're able to complete it. Uh, how, how you do, it doesn't matter. It, yeah, well, I know, I know. I was happy that, you know, you know, get back out and run it. I, I, fell in love with running i hated cardio for the lot my, my whole life until a few years ago then i started running regularly um my daughter got into cross country and and stuff so i was running with her to help her out just to support her 
and I fell in love with it. It hurts, but I love it. You know, the 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 energy, the more energy I have now, you know, because of it. But like I said, I started doing weights this summer more, um, and I kind of wish I would have fit in between there a, a few five k runs. Um, here and there, you know, at least one a week instead, you know, it wasn't not necessarily three weeks. That takes up time. It's, you know, it's like 20 something minutes out of the day. Um, and then also, you know, getting prepared for it and then uh, cooling off a bit and stuff, stretching again. So, you know, you're looking at probably 40 minute, you know, addition to, uh, you know, times that by three week times a week. <laughs> my body is 48. My soul is infinite. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good morning, Ann. Welcome back. Welcome in. Hope all is well. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, you were there, Ann. You're in Louisiana, right? So I think the, the hurricane kind of staying to the right side of you, staying away from you. So hopefully all is well with, with the storms. Um, September 30th. I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. My eye doctor texted me. Um... These he's, knees hate running. Uh, yeah, the impact. Yeah, it can be rough on knees, right? It's uh, you get, get some good shoes, and that will help for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of the. We have a place here that they they actually have a lot of people work. You pay more for your shoes because you're paying for the service, but they you, you know you go buy, in to buy a pair of shoes, you're buying an experience. You're buying they they have you do jumping, they have you squat, they have you like run in place and they, they take a little video of you and they analyze how you do things. So then they kind of match a certain type of shoe with the way your legs land and stuff. So they kind of emphasize, you know, you know, insole, thicker insoles to help balance your, your, your run out and stuff. And that helps a lot. That'll help with your knees a lot too. So yeah, see if there's anything like that around, around you, if, if you're interested in running to get that balance. Oh my God. No, Victoria, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I know what that is. I know what that clip is. One sec. Let's see. Oh, I hate hearing my own voice. But context wise, I can read it. Yeah. I'm from Canada. Movies. Oh my God. It, it ended with, I'm from Canada. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, da, da, da. I may have sent it to Fooster and Fisk. <laughs> You're all jerks. You're all jerks. My job is exercise. I work construction. Yeah, I'm with you. My uh, for for ten years out of high school, I worked uh, for uh, a, a contractor, a contractor company. Even I, I worked my way out, but into management. But it was facilities management. So I, uh, I ran their warehouse. You know, did all the scheduling, you know, and loading, unloading other vehicles. But I was solo dolo. I had a couple helpers randomly, but only when I needed them. Most of the time, I was by myself, so I was loading, unloading trucks for, you know, for a lot. I was on my feet, so I could eat. When I was younger, I could eat anything. I, I ate, ate McDonald's pretty much every day for breakfast and lunch. Um, so yeah, it was it was nothing to burn all those calories off. Uh, now I try to avoid McDonald's and stuff, fast food as much as possible. I have it for you know random but i'm always hungry afterwards right because it's not very filling aloha everyone just waking up from hawaii welcome in kyle from hawaii <clears throat> uh yes or aloha i guess is wait the proper i went to i was in hawaii i went to hawaii back in 96 was it 96 95 i think it was 95 for two weeks we hit uh oahu uh, Kauai, the big island for a day we did a day trip in on the big island and then uh and we finished up in oh we went to maui and then we finished up in Kauai. but um we were in honolulu for for a full week that first that first week i wish we would have finished in honolulu because it was like big city i was young <laughs> exploring enjoying life and then we went to these boring ass areas of maui and Kauai, <laughs> and it was kind of just lull it was like, oh, you know, so yeah, it was, it's, I wish we would have finished in Honolulu or yeah, Honolulu because it would, there's more going on. You know, we hit a Pearl Harbor and all that stuff. We did the touristy shit, but then, you know, we, you know yeah, it was, it was a blast. That was cool. 
Uh, uh, I've, uh, oh, for sure. I've been sports stores do the, all, all, wait. Do all that and uh, they're amazing. Yes, they are. T take advantage of that. Like I said, you pay more for the shoe, but you're paying for the service as well. So if you go to those type of stores, yeah, that, that, that shoe that you're looking at will be a lot cheaper somewhere else. But, or not maybe not a lot cheaper, but it, maybe 20, 30 bucks cheaper, but you're paying that extra cost goes to the service that actually helps you. So if you are into running you and walking a lot, it, you, it'd be less p damage on your knees. And I found that my, my, the shoes that they supplied me with, actually, I got to get a new pair because I need a new pair of running shoes. I want a new pair of workout shoes for in the house, actually. Tag Nabbit, I just woke up and you've already been streaming for three. I've been streaming for longer than that. I started a stream earlier and we quit that game because it was garbage. So I started a new stream. So I've been live for about four or five hours now. <clears throat> Hi, troll. <laughs> troll. <laughs> Troll, I love the name by the way. That's fits. That should be everybody in chat. Troll. Troll huntsman. Troll well, Anne's not so much a troll. Anne doesn't come in and troll too much. So and 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 you can keep your name. It but troll not Nate. Uh <laughs> Troll Victoria. <laughs> everybody troll Wiseman. Extra troll Wiseman. One hundred percent. Uh Let's see. Clearly, it ain't every even 8 a.m. here. Oh, where I'm at. I ain't uh, even had my coffee yet. Yeah, it's pretty early for you. Taco, I have a question. You did a cowboy live stream at 4 a.m. I started a cowboy live stream and we can't and I, I ended it. It was garbage. It was gar it wasn't a fun game. I wasn't it, it was broken. Um, it was irritating. So we switched out. We switched games and I changed. I, I started I ended the stream and started one right back up. Um, I wish I would have tested the game first. So that was my bad. I'm taking I'm taking claim on that one. Next time I won't do that again. I'll, I'll definitely try a game, make sure it's gonna work first. I was supposed to move to Maui September 11th. <clears throat> so yeah, that never happened. Oh, it was back in oh shit. 2001. So the the September 11th. Uh, Dank. Wait, what? Where's Dank? Dank. Uh, I like to keep it simple. Oh, you know, dank is a term. Dank is a great term for, um, well, I use it for like, um, pot a lot, marijuana, right? Marijuana products. But, uh, dank is used in beer a, a lot. Cause, uh, dank also, cause hops is like a sister or a cousin of the pot plant. Um, so they put off a dank flavor in aroma. So some beers are really dank, and that's a term used when beer judging a lot, especially in IPAs. If it's a dank IPA, there's actually some that are named that and stuff that they utilize that um, that term a lot. Dank, very dank. So it's it's got a, a unique mouth feel. Um, New New England styles are, are commonly dank. They have a aroma to them that have a real thick, um, almost skunky, borderline skunky, getting there but not quite. <laughs> Aloha is hello and goodbye. Yes, it is. I live in Honolulu. The only bad part is living in Hawaii is that either miss streams or you fall asleep uh, when they start. Oh, yeah. And it's expensive. <laughs> and and don't forget the expense. I remember Hawaii was expensive. Uh, USA Lava la, I just love the word, word dank and how it sounds. It is a great name, right? It is a, or a great word. Uh, sir, I take a umbrage with your slanderous truths. <laughs> what? Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, morning, Nate. Good morning, Nate. Welcome. You're welcome. Glad I caught the stream. Carried. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you caught the stream too, Lucas. Welcome in. Me. Uh, carried uh, me from after lunch to almost an hour from the end of my shift appreciate the content no i appreciate you being here lucas thank you for joining thank you for joining i thank everybody for joining thank you everybody for the super chats for the gifted subs and the or the memberships i want i keep on saying subs the subs the gifted memberships and the memberships dylan uh, what was that dylan for the five uh douchebag for the 20 and freaking 
Joseph Clark rolls in with another 10 because he's, he's, you know, next level. I can't believe that guy just coming in, coming in three streams in a row, throwing money my way. And I, it's, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate it. You know, I, I try not to blow past that because I want you to know how much, how much that means to me. I just do, I do this for fun. And you know, the fact that you guys come here and watch me make a fool of myself it means a ton. My wife is like, my wife says, whenever you get all like, you know, sincere and stuff, you sound so fake. <laughs> she makes fun of me about it. But there's no fakeness about it. I do appreciate it. hundred percent. Everybody. Um, I think with that, you know, we are going to end stream. I got to get outside, mow the lawn. Like I said, I got to work out. I'll probably work out first. I think the lawn still has to dry, dry a little bit. So I'll get my workout done. Um, I'm going to avoid Twitter because I'm assuming I am Canadian or I'm Canadian is going to be in there. <laughs> and, and I'm going to be like, stop it. <laughs> Shoot my car. car uh, Cardboard box cost or uh, cost more than my car. Oh God, <laughs> I, that. I could not say that. It was thank you, Mullet uh, and Victoria. Oh God, she, never mind. Don't thank you, Victoria. She she okay. Mullet's coming in with the links to the Twitter, to the Instagram, to the Discord, and Victoria posts the link of I'm Canadian. <laughs> if that doesn't show like the the level of modding that I have rolling here, the two the the two mods that are in here at the moment. Th their levels. Thank you, Mullet. Kiss my ass, Victoria. <laughs> Once again, if you're not part of the Discord, be sure to uh, click that link or uh, the information will be down in the description below. Discord.gg4 is such a good guys. It's myself, Fisk, and Booster. We make content. We make content together. We live stream. We do video. Well, I, I'm in videos. I don't make videos. Um, I do post these as VODs, though. And if you want to keep up to date with what I'm drinking, Follow me on Twitter. Um, all my untapped posts go into that. Um, plus, I post random pictures and random comments. So, you know, feel free to tag me on stuff. Uh, but jump in the Discord if you want me to see a game or if you're interested in me to play in a game, post it in the message taco section in the Discord. Um, and then the Instagram, I don't use too often. I use it, you know, once or twice a week. Or maybe not even that much. Not about once a week, maybe once every other week. It's usually a cute picture of one of my animals. Um, so if you're interested in seeing Doris, the donkeys, the cats, or the goats, um, that's where you're going to see those most often. Um, so other than that, I appreciate everybody being here. Everybody that's joined and all that stuff. 100%. Thank you very much. It means a ton. It means the world. Everybody stay safe. Much love. My name is Fisk and I'll see you in the next one.